I'm Alice Loxton, and I present documentaries over on History Hit TV. If you're passionate about all things royal history, sign up to History Hit TV. It's like Netflix, but just for history. You've got hours of ad-free documentaries about all aspects of the past. You can get a huge discount for History Hit TV. Make sure you check out the details in the video description and use the code REALROYALTY, all one word, when you sign up. Now, on with the show. My name is Xenia Gabriela Florence Sophie Iris, Princess of Saxonia. I am Princess Vanunji, Sheila, Cinderella, and Sali. I'm Princess Alia Sultana Babi of Palasinor. And I am single. Three single princesses looking for true love. I am honest. I'm very easygoing. I am faithful. Fun loving. I love the world. I love the world. Someone who shares their interests. A lot of people say she's, she's ugly, but she's my best friend. My favorite films are Slumdog Millionaire, The Devil Wears Prada, Gone with the Wind, etc. I love children. They're my best friends. And we're best friends, no? We're best friends. Somebody British. I like Hugh Grant. Prince Harry and William. Hugh Grant. Sean Connery. I want to meet Robbie Williams. Prince Philip. And so they leave their kingdoms behind and come to England to find true love. To ensure the people they meet love them for themselves and not just their title, the princesses will go undercover as everyday girls. I'm here for true love and people that love me for myself and for who I am. It was nice meeting you. Yeah. He thinks I'm just an ordinary, simple person. They'll get real jobs. Uh, what is a, a counselor? Counselor. Cool. My first victim. Their home will be in Essex, where they'll share a house and look after themselves for the first time in their lives. Whoa. <laughs> Can I put the brown with the black? But with only three weeks, can the princesses find their own Prince Charming? It's not in my nature to approach guys. I can't do it. I'm to say you. And what yeah. will the people they meet think when they reveal their true identities? <laughs> they couldn't believe it that, that actually I am a princess. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. She, she's going to propose. Oh my God, she's going to propose. This is the story of the undercover princesses. Heathrow Airport, and the first princess arrives. Her Royal Highness Princess Ksenia of Saxony in Germany. Hello, excuse me. Can you tell me where's Terminal 5? Please. You are in Terminal 5. Yes, really? Yes. Can you tell me where's the underground station? No, just behind you that way, on the left of the blue desk. OK, thank you. The, the whole situation is so different. I, I never, never need to go to a metro station I'm afraid of it because I hear a lot of stories about it and so I never try it because I don't need it. So now it's the first time in England in another language. From the moment they touch down, the princesses leave behind all of their royal privileges. Now the adventure starts. They must now do everything for themselves, including finding their new home by public transport and carrying their own bags. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. Next to arrive is Her Highness Princess Alia of Balasinor in India. So now I have to take the tree. <laughs> this is not done. <laughs> it's the first time on the London train. <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> hmm, I don't know what to do. Thank 
I thought it would have been more dirty, but it's much cleaner. The princesses are travelling to their new home in Essex. Known for its glamorous boys and girls and for the party scene. Where better to find love in just three weeks? It was so hard. And I've heard everything. My hand is so red. It hurts and my back. I think tomorrow it's blue. But I'm arrived. So now the adventure can go to the next step. So I go to the house. My full title is Xenia Gabriela Florence Sophie Iris, Princess of Saxony and Duchess to Saxony. And I'm proud of it. <laughs> 22-year-old Princess Ksenia is a descendant of one of the most powerful royal families Europe has ever known. This was the last king of the state Saxony. Four and a half million subjects say, we love you. Maybe one day I can stand in the castle and say, hello. <laughs> in her native Germany, Princess Ksenia is a well-known celebrity. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Sorry for the some days the people come and say, oh, can I have an autograph? And oh, you're the princess, I see you on TV. And I say, okay, my life is brilliant. <laughs> Hello. But the combination of her beauty, fame and royalty has made it difficult to find love. Good? Okay, this is good, I'll try the other one. It's important for me to find a man who loves me because I am Xenia and not for I'm a princess because when I go out, all over the, the young boys know me from the television and they say, ah, you're Princess Xenia, no, uh -huh. And I say, mm-hmm, but the English boys don't know me. I will come. <laughs> you. <gasps> I find him. Oh my God. That's it? Okay. After traveling for two and a half hours, Princess Ksenia arrives at her new home. Oh, great! <gasps> Horses. Maybe I can ride on it. I must choose a bed, because when the other girls came, the, bed, the best bed is gone. So I'm the first. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, yay! That's mine. Good. All right. <laughs> Good night. Oh. Princess Alia is the next to arrive. The royal ladies know they will be sharing a house with other single princesses, Hello. but they have never met before. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Alia. It's a pleasure, Xenia. Yeah. Come in. <sighs> <sighs> I'm so tired, I have uh, the whole day traveling. And you're traveling to from, this house? From uh, the Heathrow, I came in the tube yeah. to London. Yeah, it was horrible. Uh, no, I enjoyed it. Yeah, really? The only problem I had was I couldn't uh, carry Depends. my luggage, yeah. my two suitcases, I couldn't yeah. carry the <laughs> The same problem. <laughs> it was so hard. So far, they are just two. The third princess will be arriving tomorrow. She's great. She's, she's friendly, she looks good, she had, she's funny. I'm very happy. Oh, the house is very beautiful. Nice, and it's definitely smaller. <laughs> I wouldn't mind staying here, but of course, I'm for a short period, then I'm fine. Then I'll miss my open spaces. <laughs> very happy and excited about tomorrow. I want to get sleep now. Good night. <clears throat> Worn out by public transport, Princess Ksenia and Princess Alia get an early night awaiting the final princess. Last to arrive is Princess Nvanunji Shela from the Buganda Kingdom in Uganda. A day late, Princess Shela opts for the luxury of a taxi. I'm enjoying the ride. I'm enjoying what I'm eating, though I don't know what it is, but it's tasty, real tasty, and I'm enjoying tea I'm taking. I'm taking my first English tea, you know, my first cup of English tea. 
At the house, Princess Alia and Princess Ksenia have woken up to a life without maids and servants. So their first big challenge is mastering the cooker. Okay, I tried this. I want to make eggs. Take what kind of eggs? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, I think, uh, some static. Yeah, no, wait, I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Wait. No, I want to try it. I'm supposing there's a fire. <laughs> okay, take care. The first one, I think. Whoa! No, no, that's the signal. Oh, okay, yeah. This is this one, this one, this one. No. Okay, the why is it doing to... I don't know heaven, I've not been there before, but I'm told heaven is so peaceful, so calm, lovely. Once you reach to heaven, you'll just feel happy. And this place really looks like heaven, it's very calm. No. No? Okay, do it, do it. <laughs> You're cutting an egg. I'm cutting an egg. Is it done? You like it like this? I don't know. <laughs> Last but not least, Princess Shayla arrives. But with no royal entourage, she has to carry her five suitcases herself. I hope she's as friendly as Xenia. <laughs> <laughs> I think she had brown, brown hair. Why you think that? Because you have black hair, I'm she blonde. Blonde? She'll be brown? Brown or red hair? <laughs> hey. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hello. Hello. You want me to help you with the bags? Yes, I'm Come. Shayla. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Thank you. I'm Xenia. Oh, hi, I'm Shayla. Hello. Can I help you? Yes. Oh, yeah, I love bags. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So this is your room? Yeah, your lovely room. I hope you like it. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> you like that. <laughs> Try it. It's Try a nice, it. comfy bed. <laughs> no. Good night. I've got tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> so good night. <laughs> good night. She is nice. She's cool. Yeah, she's uh, friendly as we thought she would be. And uh, she's from Uganda. Yeah. The girls are so nice. Very welcoming. I'm sure we're gonna enjoy. <laughs> All of their lives, the princesses have struggled to find true love. Yeah. Yeah! Good. So, for the next three weeks, they will be looking for their perfect man in Essex. To meet people who will like them for who they are and not for their royal status, they will change their identities. OK, now that we are here in England as, um, I think, undercover, what will be the cover story? I request first to change my name. Okay, so you want to change your name? Yeah, I want to use uh, Darin. Okay. Darin. Darin. Yeah. Darin. Okay, okay then okay. we better start calling her Darin. So what do you so, want to do? Audrey. Audrey. Huh? Audrey. Audrey. Yeah. Okay. I would like to give my name. You live it. I'll, I like it. I'll, I'll live with that. <laughs> my official title is Nawab Zadi, Alia Sultana Babi of Balasanor. 35-year-old Princess Alia's ancestors were ancient warriors who have ruled in Balasinore, Western India, for centuries. We have around 30 to 35 members of the staff. It's quite a small amount compared to my father's days or my grandmother's days, but still they are, they are very much helpful. People of Balasinor are so devoted to Alia's family, they'll go to extraordinary lengths to prove themselves worthy subjects. As the only unmarried daughter, Alia's parents are keen to find her a husband. There's a lot of pressure on me to get married, but my Mr. Wright has not surfaced as yet. Having never been on a date with a man before, 35-year-old Alia has decided to break with royal tradition in her search for love. Dating in India is not looked upon very nicely, especially in my kind of families. So while in England, I don't know how am I going to cope with that. I hope to enjoy myself. So should we head to the town for some lunch? Yeah, yeah then we can talk later in the living room when we're relaxed okay. about that. Going undercover will not be easy. While Princess Alia is sticking to her real name, the other two have changed their names again. 
Princess Ksenia has now decided on Gabriella, and keen to find her fairy tale prince, Princess Shayla is now Cinderella. With their new names finally in place, Alia, Cinderella, and Gabriella go in search of something to eat. It's a good opportunity to check out the local talent. Yes, we can. Hello, I'm sorry. Can you tell me where's uh, fish and chips? Because everything is closed now and we want fish and chips. I have no idea. I'm actually no? not from here either. So. Uh, you see another restaurant on this way? Uh, there's pubs all down here. You can probably What's get. the name of your dog? Oh, uh, Safi. Safi. Hello. Ooh. Oh, cute. <laughs> Okay, thank you, in this way. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Goodbye. He was sexy. My first man. <laughs> Who is sexy? <laughs> that one. <laughs> With no fish and chips on offer, the princesses will now have to do what everyone else does. Go to the supermarket. What's your name? Are you okay? You took this? I want the flavored water, but the big one. The big the shake. A milkshake. What are we going to do for dinner tonight? I want the flavored water, the big one. Thomas. I am free. Nobody's recognizing me. Nobody knows me here. I'm just so free. I just, I just even have the time to dance in the supermarket. <laughs> I am Princess Mvanonji, Shayla, Cinderella, and Sali of the Kingdom of Buganda. Buganda is the largest and most powerful kingdom in Uganda presiding over five and a half million subjects. And Princess Shayla is one of the most famous women in her country. Everyone knows me, either physically or just by name. She's a beautiful lady. It feels great, but there's nothing more I can give than a smile and maybe a handshake, but it feels great. Being a princess has opened the doors to a pop star career for 31-year-old Shayla. But fame and a long list of demands the princess has for her perfect man hasn't helped her find love. I want to meet a gentleman. Handsome, attractive, respectful, successful, intelligent, honest, faithful. I don't want a man who is too big, but still I don't want somebody who is too skinny, too tiny, no. Educated, employed, single, and <laughs> no kid. Let's hope Princess Shayla isn't too picky for the British men. Hopefully, I'll find Mr. Wright in Britain. <laughs> but if I don't find Mr. Wright in Britain, ow. Ooh, I feel sorry. <laughs> Can you pack mine and help yeah. me to the car? What? You have put it. <laughs> Pardon? Can you please help me to the car? Uh, let me think about it. No. <laughs> please help me to the car. Yeah. Um, when you buy me a car, uh, I'll help you. <laughs> you put it out. Yeah. Cool. This in another place. I thought the first day we would be like bored, each one to, to herself, you know. But we together, you may you might think we've been together for the last two, three months. Okay. Later that night, okay. Princess okay. Ksenia and Princess Shayla decide to go on another search for fish and chips. While shy Princess Alia stays in with the comfort of an Indian takeaway. With just three weeks to find a man to take home, the princesses are eyeing up the local boys. You don't like people, I, then? I what kind of men do you like? Attractive. Yeah, I feel funny really attractive at all. What kind of men do you like? You know Walcott? Walcott? Walcott, my no. football player. You know Michael Owen? No. You do much football. I know David Beckham. I don't find him attractive. I don't. You know Hugh Grant? Yeah. And Hugh Grant is sexy. Okay. Right? But he looks like Hugh Grant a little Who bit. Who looks like him? <laughs> <laughs> this one. No, no. Just eat, you'll find it just you. At the end of their first day together, the three princesses have bonded 
But with just three weeks to find love in the UK, they are already worried about finding a date. Dating is totally unheard of in, in India. So definitely dating, I am, I'm, I, I am looking forward to, but at the same time, I'm very nervous about it. It's not easy, the fact that it's not part of my culture that, that if you see somebody good, you should go approach and you're like, hi, or whatever. It's, it, it, it's not easy. Guys, we have post. We have post. We have mail. Yay. Today, the princesses will go undercover in regular jobs mm. to help them meet ordinary men who will love them for who they are and not for their titles. You'll be working at Essex County Cricket Shop? No. <laughs> You'll be working at Chester's Cafe. You will be working at Options Hairdressers. Oh, wow. Hairdressers, hairdressers. <laughs> I, I must wear a black t-shirt and black travels. What's the What's time? Nine? Yeah. I don't have a dress code. Black Do you have a dress code? Yeah, I don't have, have a dress. Check mine. No, I, mean, I don't have a dress code. Yours? No, inside. no. Yeah. Go change. I'm just waiting to see what happens when I go out to this cafe. Yeah, there are people who are rude at me. But I know. I'll be fine. I don't think it's going to be very hard taking orders from someone. But yes, if someone, someone shouts at me, I don't, I don't know how will I take it. <laughs> I never know that I have a dress code, and so I just I look like Catwoman now. I don't know if <laughs> that's good. That's... Catwoman? Yeah. This is a bus stop. Ah, yeah, bus stop. <laughs> the princesses will be working in a nearby town of Chelmsford. It's called Chelmsford. 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 Clemsford. Chelmsford. Chelmsford. Mm. Clemsford. Mm -mm, not Clem. Chelms. Chelmsford. Hello. We want to go to Ch Chelms Chelmsford. Chelmsford. Living undercover, the princesses must now travel by bus and work a nine to five just like ordinary citizens. This will be the first time Gabby and Cinderella try out their new cover names. Take care. And the first time Alia tries out a pedestrian crossing. Should I walk? Their new employers have been told that they are being filmed for a documentary about foreigners looking for love in the UK. Yay, hairdresser! Cinderella will be trying to find the man of her dreams at Chester's Cafe. But first, she needs to get to grips with the British potato. Plain jacket. I've never heard of plain jacket. I even don't know what plain jacket is. Princess Shayla is about to try out her undercover name. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm looking for... Claire. That's me. Um, Hello. Supposed to be enrolled here. You are. What's your name, sorry? Cinderella. Cinderella. Hello, Cinderella. Yeah. You're gonna come round and I'll introduce you to everyone. Gabby will be working at Options Salon. Owner Norman is totally unaware he is talking to a princess. OK, so the sort of things that we're looking for you to do, all right? In this three weeks, you can learn how to shampoo brilliantly, OK? You're going to be doing things like sweep the floor. You're going to be doing things like... Uh, Fold up towels, make coffees, make cappuccinos, okay. yeah? Fantastic, yeah? Cool. All right, simple little things, but you're going to learn how it's done. Options way, okay? okay? So, let's get started. In her first ever manual job, Gabby is paired up with 19-year-old junior stylist Elliot, her first proper contact with a man in the UK. So, what's happened yeah. is a stylist has just finished yeah. with a station. And um, we have a sort of like a thing where we have to get right in there and, and tidy it up. So okay. we have to go over there as quick cool. as we can yeah. and tidy it up. Quick, very quick. Not too quick because we might do it wrong. Okay. But sure. we'll, we'll do it. Like this. Lovely. Lovely. You're doing very good. That's not bad. It's not bad. No. 
Do you want me to show you another way? Yeah. I'll just show you. You'll be more forceful with it. Quite tough. Get it. Oh, you're faster. Yeah. Oh, cool. You have a go. Okay. You just pull it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Cool. He's a nice guy, I think so. My first victim. With Gabby already eyeing up a potential date, Alia is pinning her hopes on the Essex County Cricket Shop. Hi, I'm Alia. Oh, hello, I'm Kelly. Kelly. Hi, this is Danny over here. Yeah. You've come to work with us. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> Back in India, Alia's family actually own okay. a cricket club. Sorry, not allowed. <laughs> As with Gabby and Cinderella, Alia's new workmates have no idea she is a princess. Well done. <laughs> and then I'm getting a new shirt for him. Okay. His name is Oliver. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to change his clothes for him. <laughs> yeah. Oh. As Alia has never dated in India, let alone in Essex, she wants to find out the best way of meeting men. Which night would be the best to go out? I think you'll probably be better to go out on a Saturday night, get the okay. girls together, yeah. get dressed up, and okay. uh, go to some of the bars, the local bars and clubs around. There's lots and lots and lots about. At the cafe, Cinderella's having a few teething problems in her transformation from princess to waitress. This is probably good. That's all it is, it's just literally a potato. You don't peel it? No, you just wash it, prick it with a fork, and put it in the oven. There's a little butter, there's honey, and then there is, what do they call it? Coleslaw. Yeah, coleslaw. Yeah, that's, that's what I have. And on her first day at work, Cinderella is still getting used to her new life undercover. Now working undercover as regular girls in search of love, it hasn't taken long for the princesses to start meeting men. At the salon, Elliot is warming to Gabby's flirting. It's not good. Keep going. Wait a moment. Are you shampooing me yet? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> I like that. Is it good? It's very nice. You make that all the days, I think so. You wash my hair, I wash your hair. You wash my hair, I wash your hair. That would be fun. We could do that all day. Yeah. I can, I can be the shampoo girl. Yeah, can I uh, that? Sounds naughty. Cinderella's new work colleagues know she's looking for love, but they are having trouble helping her find a man as she's so picky. You're fussy. You're very choosy about what, what you're looking for in a yeah, man. <laughs> yes, I am very, I'm very choosy. I know what I want. No, no, the guy in the no. I don't find him attractive. Mm. It's too far. It's too huge for me. He's too pink. He's too serious. He's too tough. He's too pink. He's too pink. Too pink. Oh. Yeah. We are taking him with us. Alia's day at work has taken her to a cricket festival, where her search for an English gent continues. I'm enjoying the experience of working in the stall and the ultimate aim is to find a nice person whom I can go out on a date with. Let's see if that Mr. Wright is there. <laughs> As a princess, Alia has never approached men before, so her boss Danny yeah, introduces her to one of Essex's star players. Hi Graham. Alia? How are you? But I've heard that the Essex boys have a bad reputation. That's what uh, I've been told. Well, it's normally the Essex girls that have the bad reputation. Oh, um, well, I've been told about the Essex boys. I don't know about the girls. I, I think the mixture of both Essex boys and girls together uh, makes a good night out. And, okay. Uh, there's, there's plenty to do in, in Colchester and, and uh, Chelmsford. 
and, and if you go as far as Basildon, you've got uh, Bas Vegas to get to as well. Okay. So there's plenty to do. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. I, would, I wouldn't mind going out on a date with him because he seemed quite a charmer. Yeah, a nice person. So, yeah. Although shy, Alia has at least spotted someone she likes. But Cinderella is starting to give up hope. Time is moving so fast. We, we have about 20, 30 minutes to leave. And that would be my day gone without finding a man at Chester's Cafe. I've not seen anyone yet. After their first full day of hard work, the princesses meet to find out if anyone's had any luck on the man front. So how was your day? And you met anyone interesting? Yeah, there, were, there are a lot of, a lot of men inside of me. Really? really? <laughs> but half of them, I think they're gay. But oh. the other ones are, are sweet, sweet ones, yeah. And yeah, the first cool. thing I did was dress up the window. Ah, cool. So there was a mannequin. His name was Oliver. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to change his T-shirt. Cool. <laughs> so you touch a man today? He was a dummy. <laughs> You take orders? Yes, I was cool. taking orders wow. and serving them. <laughs> one, one of them was telling me that, um, well, we can go and, and find these yeah. two guys. But it was exciting, really, really. Cool. Mine was really good. Okay. The princess's day at work has focused their attentions on dating. With just three weeks to find love, they need to meet as many men as possible by the end of the first week. The main idea is to find a person who will love me for myself or whatever. You never know, destiny, I always believe in destiny. So if my destiny is in England, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, but with mascara. No. Wait for mascara. No, it's too yeah, no, much. No, no. I look like a witch. No. In their search for love, Gabby and Alia have decided to try out the local pub. Yeah, I feel it. But tired after a long day, Cinderella is having a quiet night in with a tin of tuna. To have any chance of finding their perfect match, the girls need to forget they are princesses and approach men. We're not, be we're not shy. Huh? We're not being more shy. I am? No. Yeah. No, we, we can do that. We can do that. Yeah. OK. This will be particularly difficult for shy and traditional Alia, who has never dated before in India. Hi. Hiya. Good. <laughs> she, she does speak German. Where are you from? India. India? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So, you guys are in England for... We are in England for three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. So, oh. Do you really attract when you cross your eyes on that? No, I haven't not. Do that. <laughs> Oh, I have no hair. Yeah. What's wrong with not having an ear? <laughs> nothing. Nothing wrong with not having no hair. And you're a fireman. Yeah. Can you show us something? Would you want to put you over my shoulder? No. <laughs> she wants to see the pole. She can slide that down. Do you want to slide up down the pole? Do you want me on your shoulder? Yeah. <laughs> I think that was the typical type of man that I think before is typical British man. Loud and Naughty, like that. Because I'm a shy girl, I think I can't mix very well. I would mix, but then it's I don't know. It's not my it's not my nature to approach people. Uh, I, because I have not been brought up in that kind of an environment, so I'm finding it a bit difficult. He's very pretty. He can help us for searching for, for men. <laughs> While Gabby is confident and enjoying the attention of men, a long way from home and unused to dating, it's all too much for Alia. not in my nature to approach guys. I can't do it. <laughs> That's the worst part. <laughs> I've never done it before. I've come from a very protected family. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be so difficult. <laughs> Sorry for spoiling your evening. <sighs> Clearly for her it's very hard because she comes from a very protecting family. It's for her it's like 
like everybody comes out and it's like a pressure, a big pressure in, in her body, in her, in her mind. And I want to do my best for make her happy and for help her and protect her. I never want that she cried again because that makes me so sad. I'm missing my family, I'm missing my, my servants. But I think as the days go, goes by, I think uh, I'll, be, I'll be more relaxed. And... It's been a disappointing night on the love quest. The princess's best chance of meeting single men will be on Saturday night. But before then, they have something else to celebrate. Today is Gabby's 23rd birthday, and Alia and Cinderella are planning to surprise her. She thinks nothing is happening on her birthday. And um, poor girl, I feel pity for her. <laughs> but I'm sure by, by the end of the day, she'll be jumping about. Because I think we have lots in store for her. Let's not feel, feel very real this, this birthday. No, and I don't like that. I don't like that I must go to work today because I went to sleep because I'm so tired because yesterday was so a long day. Good morning. Good morning. Birthday girl, what have you been up to? Happy birthday. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, kitty. <laughs> Thank you. Happy oh. birthday. I like that. Oh, cutie, cutie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, I want to cry, but, but because I'm happy. Thank you so much. Okay, girls. See you later. Okay. As Gabby heads to work, Alia and Cinderella have more birthday surprises in store. And although they've just started their new jobs, they've decided their bosses won't mind if they bunk off work to bake a cake. Good morning, this is Alia. Karen, this is Cinderella. I just called to say that uh, I'll not be coming in today. I'll miss the jacket potato. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Right. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Bye. As yeah. princesses, Alia and Cinderella never normally cook for themselves, so they've chosen a ready mix. I don't know what's the deal. Because we have cups which are like one cup, okay. then there's a quarter cup, then there's a three-fourth cup, there's one-fourth cup. But even the measurements are here. There's one yeah, cup. but then this is cup. So how much cups would... Will go into a 250? Yeah. As it is, I'm very bad with nuts. I know three eggs and <clears throat> 750 ml vegetable oil. While Alia and Cinderella master the art of cake baking, Gabby is hard at work on her birthday. This Saturday, the princesses are planning a night out clubbing, which will be their best chance of meeting single men. But Gabby already has her eye on someone at work. She is hoping that Elliot will come out for her birthday this evening. Where are we going? I don't know. I want to go to the karaoke bar. Oh, yeah? I thought we were going to go to a strip club. Birthday stripper? Yeah. <laughs> you? Oh, he will touch me. No, women. Women? Yeah. Ah, it's for you. No. Yeah. Elliot might be joking, but Cinderella and Alia have heard that a stripper is seen by some as a very British birthday surprise. I'm told we can hire somebody. We can hire a dancer. You know of someone? I'm told it can happen. In Chelmsford, we can get somebody. That's what I'm told. And as always, Cinderella has a very clear list of requirements. If we could get such a person, a hunk, cool guy, respectable, understanding, then we talk to him of what to do. We tell him what he, she doesn't really want. As long as this guy can just get to the floor and tease her and dance with her. While Alia and Cinderella make last-minute preparations for their surprise... <laughs> Are you laughing? You're being easy. <laughs> the birthday girl is on her way home. I don't know if the girls are at home because they told me in the morning that they have to start very uh, late today at 2 o'clock and p.m. So maybe they must work a little bit longer, but I don't know. 
I can't blow a balloon. <laughs> oh, ha. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh. Happy birthday. Oh. Happy birthday, dear Gabby. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Thank you. You. Really? Yeah. Not really. She did. Promise. She did. Your promise. Wow. How are you going to cut it? One, two, three. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. To celebrate her birthday, Gabby has chosen a karaoke night and she's hoping her new work friend Elliot will turn up. I think it will be fun. Maybe the other girls can sing with me. I don't think so, but I hope. She's been talking about Elliot, so I don't know. Let's see what kind of a person is he. On the way to the bar, Alia calls the stripper to confirm Gabby's final birthday surprise. Okay, then we, uh, we shall see you there at 10 o'clock. Uh, okay, yeah, bye bye. Take care. Yeah. Okay, we've done the call. And you shall be there at 10. And I hope Gabby has a good time. Oh, yeah. oh yay! Gabby's birthday kicks off to a good start as Elliot has turned up. After the disappointment of yesterday evening, the girls are having fun. Even shy Alia is joining in. As the princesses don't have much time to find the man of their dreams, Gabby has her sights set on impressing Elliot tonight with her singing. The singing seems to be working for Elliot. But Cinderella has just realised that she is partying in Chelmsford's only gay bar. Yes, I've even read a, a signpost of gay, lesbians and bisexual. I am not any of those. Yeah. Yeah. I can't say. So, it seems I'm in the wrong place. As the princesses don't usually chase men, Gabby is finding it hard to let Elliot know she likes him.
But before Gabby gets up the courage to speak to Elliot, Cinderella and Alia's birthday present arrives. Having braved the stripper, Gabby finally has the courage to make her move on Elliot. Unaware Gabby is a princess, Elliot still has big plans. I'll probably just do the classic restaurant scenario, because um, obviously you can talk to people and that sort of thing, can't you? Good night. Gabby's had a very happy birthday. She has the first date lined up of all the girls, but with Saturday night to come, there is still hope for Alia and Cinderella. That was funny, I think so. Saturday, and so far the princesses have had mixed fortunes in their search for true love. Essex hasn't yet provided Cinderella with a man who fits her specific list of requirements, and Alia isn't even close to securing her first ever date. Only Gabby has made progress and has a date lined up with work colleague Elliot. Well, now what's what's the what we have to meet for people? We meet just. <laughs> Gay guys in the gay bar. Come on, yes, and a stripper. <laughs> Tonight is the oh princess's God, best so chance good. of picking up a single man. To have any luck on their undercover dating mission, they've decided to transform themselves into real Essex girls. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to think of a Saturday night, how a British sexy girl would dress on a Saturday night, and that's what I'll, I'll buy. <laughs> Because all this. <gasps> I love all this. Of this. Night of, look at this. This is how you should dress. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Peter Andre. Yeah. He's so bleh. Bleh. No, he's cool. What? He's cool. What? Peter Andre. He's single. He's a cool guy. Take him. No, he's. He's he divorced. He's single. No, he was married. Yeah, and now not. He's not married. No, he. Where is he? Where is he? Here. She, I mean, she, she is still cool. She had married another one now. And that makes him married. Don't show me married guy. He's so bad. I like this woman. She's so sexy, but she's not British. Yeah, yeah. She's cool. She's cool. Angelina Jolie is sexy. Oh. I'm sorry. To get the Essex look for the Saturday night bars and clubs, the princesses are hitting the shops. Now undercover, Gabby and Cinderella are enjoying the freedom of shopping for more revealing outfits. Oh! Yay! Yeah. Oh, I like this. I put on tights down. Yeah. Oh, you see anything? You <laughs> think <laughs> you like that? Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Even timid and conservative Alia is trying out the Essex look. Ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, yeah. Oh, he has to be too shy to come up. Oh, that's sexy. Wow. 
Nice. Yeah, that's nice. But I want to see it in Lala, but I loved it in black. Yeah? No, I think it's in black. It's, 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 it's good. Black, no? To me, you look sweet. Well, I've never worn such thing like this before, so I'm feeling very uncomfortable. No, you just yeah. it's just. Uh, oh, you look sweet. Yeah, training. It's training. Hopefully, Saturday night is going to bring up somebody. So we, we're trying to shop and and look real attractive and sexy. <laughs> and we wait. To finish their look, the princesses are now off for a spot of pampering. While Alia and Gabby opt for a simple blow dry and manicure, Cinderella is going for a complete makeover. I want to look good on my Saturday night out. I mean, I'm trying to find a man, a cool guy, and I have to look cute with my, my, my new clothes, Essex clothes. So have you met any English men yet? Already? Um, yeah, yeah, tomorrow I have my first date with Elliot. Oh. He's very cute. I'll be in a bling bling dress with bling bling nails. <laughs> At the salon, Cinderella has discovered the most famous Essex girl of them all and likes what she sees. I'm just looking at a picture of... What is it? Jody Marsh. She's hot. God. If I went with this in my home country, our culture, it's, it, is, it is an abomination to show your breasts. How? Oh. I think most guys, if you're like someone who wants a boyfriend, who's looking for a guy, most guys will like you to dress like that. Then I'll never find a boyfriend here. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna look gorgeous tonight. Okay. With the Essex look complete, the princesses are now ready for Saturday night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> to have any chance of finding true love in just three weeks, they need to make tonight count. <laughs> it's the first time that we go together in a club. And I Let's heard... see what this Saturday night is all about. Yes. I mean, we've heard so much what's a Saturday night all about. Mm. So today we will find out what everyone's so much talking about. Yeah. I heard that there are a lot of football players and posh boys and girls. Football players? Uh, 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 uh. I don't mean all. Michael Owen. <laughs> all when I get a chance of uh, rubbing shoulders with the uh, wild court. Oh, God. Just rubbing your shoulder with wild court. Just. <laughs> <laughs> or Michael Owen. Oh, the rest I don't care. Cricketers! We'll be there. It's the big Saturday night out, and the princesses are getting into their real Essex girl outfits. I feel ready. But my boobs are showing. So showing. so. Looking so naughty. This is kind of sleeveless, I've never done this before. I feel odd. <laughs> the girls are heading to the bars and clubs of Brentwood. It's their best and final chance to pull a man this week. Gabby, Alia and Cinderella have gone out undercover in search of potential dates and they've attracted the attention of some real Essex girls. With the support of their new friends, the princesses are soon talking to men. What's your name? Cinderella. Cinderella. <laughs> What's your real name? Cinderella. Cinderella. Really? You've got a man magnet. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Even Alia overcomes her nerves. So what's the purpose of you being here then? You're just experiencing experiencing, the experiencing British culture. Right, okay. Finding British men. <laughs> Finding British men, really? Yeah, like uh, trying. It's, it's have, a... you, have you found any British men yet? No, no. no. Oh, no. It means 
I met a couple, but no, no one no, to my liking. No, no, right, right, right. <laughs> Three guys on to you. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Huh? He, uh, yeah, he was quite charming. You can it's a bit hot, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, other than that, he was quite charming. Yay! As the first week of Living Undercover comes to an end, all three princesses have finally enjoyed a night out in Essex meeting men. I'm so happy that uh, Cinderella and Ali have flirted today. I'm feeling so proud. I'm not proud of myself, but proud of them because they... I was so cute! She's ladies! Alia is growing in confidence. It's a much, much, much more better experience than the previous days, and I kind of ming mingled in with the people. I was able to talk to even the men without feeling any, anything odd. But Cinderella is still being picky. They're all good and attractive, nice, handsome guys, but they, they take booze. And the moment I see you taking booze or smoking cigarettes, it's a turn off. Whew. Beer and smoke, nah. Disappointingly, none of the girls have found a date tonight. And although Gabby has one lined up, the princesses are going to have to step up their search if they want to find their Prince Charming. <laughs> Next time on The Undercover Princesses. The girls up their game and meet more men than ever. Nice to meet you. Yeah. How you doing? Good. Yeah. What did I call you? Cinderella. Cinderella. They go on their first date. He's a very, very nice person. Very cool. The web hasn't been up too much, has it? And get a little closer to finding true love. Do I have to let go? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if all dates are going to be like this. Ooh. <laughs> My name is Xenia Gabriela Florence Sophie Iris, Princess of Saxonia. I am Princess Vanunji, Sheila, Cinderella, and Sali. I'm Princess Alia, Sultana Babi of Palasenor. And I am single. Three single princesses looking for true love. I am honest. I'm very easygoing. I am faithful. Fun loving. I love the world. I love the world. Someone who shares their interests. A lot of people say she's, she's ugly, but she's my best friend. My favourite films are Slumdog Millionaire, The Devil Wears Prada, Gone with the Wind, etc. I love children, they're my best friends. And we're best friends, no? We're best friends. Somebody British. I like Hugh Grant. Prince Harry and William. Hugh Grant. Sean Connery. I want to meet Robbie Williams. Prince Philip. And so they leave their kingdoms behind and come to England to find true love. To ensure the people they meet love them for themselves and not just their title, the princesses will go undercover as everyday girls. I'm here for true love. Go on, honey. It's important for me to find a man who loves me because I am Xenia and not for I'm a princess. The main idea is to find a person who will love me for myself. Living and working as regular girls, the princesses have not yet found their Prince Charming. I'm not comfortable with this. Now, with just two weeks left, they need a new approach. Maybe I could give you a call job. I could call you. Yeah. OK. They meet the locals. Ever been on a ferry over here, have you? <laughs> Go on proper dates. <laughs> the weather hasn't been up too much, has it? And host their own British barbecue. Yeah. Will the princesses be able to find true love? Thanks. And what will the people they tell think when they reveal their true identity? I'm in a bit of shock, actually. I'm nervous. I don't know his reaction. This is the story of the undercover princesses.
push button and wait for signal. In their first week of living undercover, the princesses embraced the Essex scene. But they made little progress in their search for the perfect man. I've not seen anyone yet. He's not my kind of man. He's too pink. Princess Shayla struggled to find a man who measured up to her royal standards. Posh, handsome, single, <laughs> educated, good employment. Between. In your dreams. <laughs> For shy Princess Alia, the world of Western dating proved overwhelming. It's not in my nature to approach guys. I can't do it. <laughs> That's, I've never done it before. I've come from a very protected family. <laughs> Hi. But confident Princess Ksenia had no problem attracting men and was the only girl to land a first date. With just two weeks left in Essex, the princesses need to go on as many dates as possible or their undercover mission will end in failure. In her search for the perfect man, God-fearing Princess Shayla has decided to seek out single guys in the house of the Almighty. I'm going to church because I believe even in church there are some singers, religious, God-fearing guys. To help her on her love quest, Princess Shayla looks to the church pastor for advice. Hello. Oh, sorry, yep. Did you enjoy the service? Yeah, I enjoyed the preaching. I enjoyed the, the choir. He I has no idea she's preaching. a princess yes. as she's using the cover name Generally, Cinderella. Would it be okay if, if I come to church and basically my reason to coming to church is, is maybe to find, find a man? The purpose of you coming to church is to have fellowship with God. Then God will guide you. If you made that one, the, I mean, the that the one, reason, the reason why you are coming, you may miss it. I am Princess Mvanonji, Shayla, Cinderella, and Sali of the Kingdom of Buganga. Princess Shayla and her family rule over the largest and most important kingdom in Uganda, with over five million subjects. And still single at 31, the princess rates her love life as a top priority for her country. People are really waiting for my wedding like they're waiting for the second coming of Jesus. Princess Shayla has a long list of specific requirements when it comes to finding love. I want somebody who is handsome, attractive, respectful, successful, God-fearing, educated. I don't want somebody married, and I don't want somebody with a kid. No, we have to begin our family, the two of us. Now she is hoping the British men she's heard so much about will be the answer to her prayers. Maybe I'll take a date with Sean Connery, Michael Owen, Walcott. <laughs> yeah, one of the members of Westlife. Yes, hopefully I'll find Mr. Wright in Britain. I want a man who is God-fearing, attractive, handsome. The he church might not be the right man, place to find a man, but Cinderella can't help out, sharing her long list of must-haves with the pastor. He's not married, he has no child, he's not a smoker, he's not a womanizer, he's not a drunkard. But one thing is that if you have the spirit of God in you... It will lead you. Exactly, that's just a major thing. Okay. So I wish you Thank the you best. Thank you, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. God Send me your you. prayers. What I've learned from the pastor is I should let God intervene in what I want. I may be rushing to the pub and yet this person He's actually in the supermarket, all in the shopping mall, all he could be at the, the dry cleaners, you know, anywhere. While Cinderella extends her search for a date, Princess Ksenia already has one. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Working undercover as Gabby, she met Elliot in her job at a hair salon, where her colleagues don't know she's a princess and think she's filming a documentary about foreign culture. 
To help her learn about British life, Elliot has chosen a romantic night away for their date, camping at the Riven Festival near Bedford. Well, let's have a camp. Let's camp. <laughs> let's go. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, the idea for this day is that Gabby gets to um, experience a bit of Eng English culture. Yeah, it should be good. Where the heck does this go? <laughs> I don't want to camp. I hate camping. <laughs> hey, baby. My full title is Xenia Gabriela Florence Sophie Iris, Princess of Saxony and Duchess to Saxony. 23 year old Princess Ksenia comes from one of the oldest and most prestigious royal families in Germany. This has brought her fame and publicity, but no Prince Charming. I'm not single because I'm a bad girl, no. I'm a princess and so I can't find love like this because I just meet people who are in the higher class, who are like this, and a lot of, lot of people in this class are like that. Hello, my name is Wilfried. And now I want to, to meet the other, other class of guys, of boys. The princess is hoping that by dropping her title, she can drop some of the expectations that go with it. The guys that I say, okay, I'm a princess, hello, they think, ah, oh, the character is, doesn't matter, she's, she's rich, she's beautiful, and she's a princess, oh, well. But the English boys don't know me. I will come. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yay. I'm feeling so dirty. You think they have showers? Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> Great. Why do you want to shower? You're at a festival. After her morning at church, Cinderella has met up with Alia to discuss their game plan for the week. Gabby is the hot topic of the day, as so far she is the only princess to have a date. So what's the strategy going to be about finding the guy? Because she found a date and now that leaves the two of us. So we're waiting for destiny to strike. Yeah, I believe that, that is it. And if it doesn't, then in the two weeks, then? <laughs> you know, I'll have lost out. I think something is going to happen in a day or two. OK, <laughs> that would be nice. Gabby's first date with Elliot at the Rhythm Folk Festival is in full swing. <laughs> and at the pub in Essex, Cinderella is taking destiny into her own hands. Breaking from royal protocol, she's decided to approach a man herself. What's your name? Yeah, Cinderella. My name's Reggie. Nice to meet you, love. Say hello, Uncle Reggie. Yeah. All right. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what do I call you? Cinderella. Cinderella. Yes. My missus is going to kill me. Who? My missus. Your missus? I'm trying to find out about the British culture, British man. Yeah. Actually, trying to find a British man. Am, am I the man? No, you you have to be single. No misses, no oh, children. No children. Mm. And no drinking. Ah. Well, no smoking. Well, that's a bit of bad luck, isn't it, when you're looking in a boat pub, isn't it? That's the problem. <laughs> Ricky may not have any of the qualities that Cinderella's praying for, but it's a different story for Gabby's first date at the festival. Cheers. I personally don't understand how Gabby cannot get a man in her native Germany. You know, I mean, she's tall and blonde. You know, I mean, any guy would probably just drop dead for that. That's for your boobies. <laughs> Will be. Yeah. It's definitely the, my definition of romantic, and so I think it's it's great. Maybe we have another date, Elliot and me. I think so because he's a very very nice person, very cool. Gabby's first date with Elliot has gone well, but not that well. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Thank you. As they go to bed nice. in separate tents. Oh. 
have beautiful dreams. Oh, and you. Coat, coat, coat. <sighs> <laughs> Already in awe of Gabby's dating confidence, the following morning the other princesses are keen to hear all the details. Hello. Mm -hmm. You spent a night out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. It was very cool. We've talked a lot of time, and but we asleep in uh, separate tents. Okay. Don't worry. It was great. I never camp again in my life. I swear. It's <laughs> The princesses have less than two weeks left on their undercover mission to find a man who loves them for who they are and not just their title. And Gabby's success with men is putting even more pressure on the other princesses. Good Gabby is the one who's very outgoing and she can really mix in very well with people. You want to hug them? She comes from the same culture as England. I mean, Germany is, is no different than England. Whereas uh, for me, India, Dating is like not done, it's totally unheard of. If Alia is going to find true love in the UK, she needs some help. I've never done this before. <laughs> She's turning to the Lonely Hearts columns in search of a date. It's ladies looking for men. I'm not comfortable with this. My title is Nawab Zadi, Alia Sultana Babi of Balasana. Descended from ancient warriors, Princess Alia's family ruled Balasinore in Western India for centuries. This is my great-great-grandfather, who actually built this palace in 1883. With an army of servants to attend her every need, and staff who accompany her everywhere she goes, the princess has led a sheltered and privileged life. And even finding a husband would normally be done for her. If we have prospective suitors, it's through the family. The family or some family friends will suggest, and that's how things work out here. It's not that you just find them on your own. But still single at 35, she has decided to break with royal protocol to find her own husband, undercover in the UK. And she knows exactly what she wants. He need not be from a royal family. He need not be a prince, but he has to come from a very good lineage. He has to be someone who can match up to my status. Dating advice. I think it will be dating advice. Uninspired by the Lonely Hearts adverts, Alia decides to seek help from a dating coach. Uh, hello, this is Alia. I am a very shy person and the kind of uh, family I come from, uh, I feel very uh, shy to approach, uh, uh, to rather approach guys on my own. While Alia turns to an expert for help, Cinderella has a different plan of attack. As he told me I can get the man anywhere, I'm just going to one of the biggest supermarkets around and... And this time if I see him, I'll go straight to him. Hi. I'm just going to the supermarket. To try. To do what? To find a man. <laughs> a sexy guy. <laughs> I'll tell you my trick. Yeah. I've put no watch. So oh, you're going to ask the time? Yeah, I'm going to ask the time. Good. I'll pretend like I'm asking the time and, yeah. Someone is learning. <laughs> <laughs> As a famous princess in Uganda, Cinderella would never be seen in her local supermarket. I stay in the car and, and give the supermarket attendant a call and then she will come pick my order, delivery, then I pay and that's all. And I go. What to do? I have to find Mr. Prince Charming. I am coming to look for you. <laughs> but will the princess find what she's looking for on a secret royal visit to the Basildon branch of Asda? Can you help me with 
change. I need a one pound. A pound, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come over to me with me. I'll, I'll sort you up. With a friendly shop assistant on hand, Cinderella can finally begin her hunt for a man. The men that I see, they all have women. One has a woman, the other one has a child. It's... oh. It's looking like another fruitless day searching for the perfect man. Until suddenly things take a turn for the better. Is a quiet big. Yeah. You love mushrooms? Of course. Are you African? Yeah. You're African? To be from Caribbean. You Caribbean? Yeah. Oh, what's your name? Paul. Oh, hi. Oh. Hi. <laughs> You're African? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. How long are you here? I'm remaining with 17 days to go. How much days? 17. 17? Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I just came here to find out about British culture. I'm trying to research on well, same, British culture. Same with me. Really? Yeah. You are the first person I introduced myself to so far. Really? I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could give you a contact. I could call you. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Cinderella. Really? <laughs> Thanks. So I'm still moving. Okay. Mm -hmm. Call me. You call me too. Okay. Okay. Bye. Cool, eh? Bye. After a week of searching, Picky Cinderella has finally found a man to her liking in the supermarket. <laughs> he's a cool guy. He has the heart. He has. Ooh, he's cool. <laughs> By the time Cinderella returns home, she has news for Gabby. What? I'm a date tonight. What's his Eight name? Eight o'clock. What's his name? He's called Paul. Paul. Paul David. <gasps> and look like? He's chocolate. Oh. Tall. Oh. Good eyes. Nice set of teeth. He speaks very well. He has a good body. Jackpot. Yeah. <laughs> And if he wasn't sounding perfect already, Mushroom yeah. Man Paul calls to confirm the date. OK. Bye, though. <laughs> it's him! He speaks well. The guy has a cool voice. Oh, my God. Hi, this is Paul. Oh, my God. You're trying to contact me. Really? I'm getting dressed. He's also gorgeous. looking forward to me! Oh, my oh drinks! Ah. With both Gabby and Cinderella starting to date, Alia is finally taking action and going to meet dating coach Matthew Hussey. How are you getting on? It's great Fine. to meet you. Yeah. Have a seat. Thank you. <laughs> How are you feeling? Nervous. Nervous? <laughs> well, that's a good thing. I've never had a client who's not been nervous initially. Going to bars and pubs and then kind of approaching guys and saying, hello, can we go out on a date? That type. Right. I can't do it. It's not my cup of tea. It's quite terrifying, right? It's terrifying and uh, I've never done it before. To show shy Alia that dating doesn't have to be terrifying, Matthew has some simple advice. So let's start with the basic. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Yeah. Instead of just saying I'm not bad, I say, I'm actually very good. Um, I just got back from this this crazy event where... Yeah, you kind of elaborate on what you did. What I want you to do is give them the same warmth that you would give someone who you've known for a long time. OK, don't go in like they're a stranger. And what are you going to do with your facial expression? Smile. You're going <laughs> to smile. This is so, so important. 
So that Alia can try out some of her new techniques, Matthew has organised a practice date. Hi, Alia. That's me. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> I didn't get your name. Eamon. Okay. How have you been? Been good. A uh, bit tired because we had a very hectic weekend. We went uh, to the bar and then to the clubs, you know? Yeah. What's your favourite film? Um, my favourite film is quite a, a geeky film. <laughs> um, I like Star Wars. I, I can't stand movies like that. I would rather watch a romantic movie. Like Pretty Woman is, has been my favorite. Yeah. Well, I really love that movie. I would watch it thousands of times. And I've done it. <laughs> Progressively, she's almost taken herself and, and other people less seriously. And it's great to see, because you see someone who actually is letting go a bit. And that's what we really need from her. We need her to break out of her shell. I don't need And if I ask I you, to you watch television, and you, what, what's, good, what's going to be your answer then? My session with Matthew yeah, definitely helped. I think I'm better than the previous week. Yeah, but still, fine. I think uh, I am a bit nervous. Alia is taking steps in the right direction to improve her confidence, but is yet to try out a real date. Tone, please record your message. Gabby, on the other hand, is on to date number two. Hello, James. This is Gabby. We meet us in the bar. I don't know if you remember. And you're a fireman. Yeah. Can you show us something? Well, we'll put you over my shoulder. <laughs> Although Gabby's been on a successful date with Elliot, she is keeping her options open and has decided to spend the day with James, a fireman she Hi. met in her first week. How are you? I'm nice good, you. you. James has no idea he's dating yeah, a princess. Now, living undercover, Gabby has chosen an activity that she would never be allowed to do as a famous royal back in Germany. Oh, uh, right, OK. He's pretty high. I'm afraid of high... high no, places. don't you sell it, you're fine. Go on, girl. <laughs> Caress the wall, Gabby. Right. Look, a little spider up that wall. Go on, girl. Go on, honey. That's a good step. You can take the smallest one. That's good. Yay! Yeah, you've done it. You've done great. You've done so well. You got halfway up and then carried on. Well done. Well done. It's fantastic. James was. Gabby, you can do it, honey. That was cool. I like some words like honey, baby, or something like that. That's cute. He's a very nice guy, and we have a lot of fun, and that's very cool. <laughs> cheers. Yeah, cheers, hon. Thank you for a good afternoon. Thank you, it was great. Mm. Oh, so what are you doing on Saturday? Saturday night or Saturday No, day, day evening. Day. Um, nothing, I don't think. We make a barbecue on Saturday? Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah super, that'd be nice. So i uh, give you a call yeah. tomorrow, what's the plan and on which, uh, which hour, yeah, blah, blah? Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah, cool. that'd, be, that'd be superb. The problem is uh, we don't know how to make barbecue. But That's we OK, want to no, I'm it. good at that, I'm good at that. Yeah? I'm fine. Yeah. I mean, look at it. <laughs> it seems like we've got lots to talk about and no awkward silences or anything. It seems cool. <laughs> it looks like Gabby now has two men to choose from, James and Elliot. Cinderella is preparing for her first date. I'm getting late. Do I need anything for the neck? Would it be too much? No. She's meeting up with Paul, the man she met earlier. I'm so excited about my date. This is my first date. I've not had any dates since I came here. I have very few days remaining, but it seems things are working out for me since I went to church. <laughs> Without, Without her she... maids to help her get ready, the princess is running late. It's too revealing. It's just about half past eight. You know, woman, never on time. It smells nice and lovely. It's so delicious. Mm. Almost an hour late, Cinderella is on her way to her first date in the UK. Her expectations are as high as ever. First of all, she'd be God fearing. Uh, you know, handsome and attractive. Drinking, smoking, 
womanizing, adultery, cheating, fornication, all those things. Those are bad things. I want a man who is educated. I'm really a little nervous. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know how, it's, how to talk. <laughs> Putting her nerves aside, Cinderella finally arrives. Hi, how are you? Hi. How are you? How long did you come here? How long ago? About uh, half an hour ago. That's no problem. Don't mind waiting. <laughs> to a new beginning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I'm Cinderella. I already told you. I'm from Uganda. Okay. I'm a sous chef. Born and grow in Tobago. Don't smoke. Yeah. So drink occasionally. No girlfriend? No. You're not married? No. <laughs> you got no kid? Nope. But I like to. I love children. Because I love babies. So far? I love children. So far, Paul seems to be meeting all of Cinderella's requirements. And he's about to get even better. I'm a sports guy too. Sports? Yeah, I play basketball. So are you a national player or you're just... Yeah, national player. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you are a celebrity in your country. Well, yeah, in my country, a simple person. He seems to be a celebrity in his country because he says he's a national player. And when he's moving on the streets, everybody's hi, hi, hi. Just realize there's a lot we have in common. Incredibly, Paul has ticked nearly all of the boxes. But most importantly, he needs to be a good Christian. Do you believe in God? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's nice. I think without him, you don't have faith. It's amazing to hear. <laughs> Only yesterday, it looked like Cinderella's ideal man didn't exist, but a chance meeting in the supermarket might have led her to her Prince Charming. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, very nice. Appreciate that. Do I have to let go? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because there's no room to get up. <laughs> I just met my playmate, a wonderful, Beautiful girl. If all dates are going to be like this, ooh. You made my day. You made most of me. Thank you. Bye now. See right. you. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye now. Bye. While the other princesses are asleep, Cinderella returns from an amazing first date. Ooh, everyone is asleep. Mm. Just not a good day. I just can't wait to tell the girls tomorrow in the morning. <coughs> good night, Leah. Good night, Gummy. I hear what? you laughing last night. Yeah, when you came, you were very happy. We could hear you laughing and... Ooh, the guy has almost all the things I want. Oh. And he's a celebrity in his country. He's a national basketball oh, player. Oh, give me five. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was, great. was it... Bzz. All the time, yeah. <laughs> it was just smooth. <laughs> Cinderella's date has gone well, but with just two weeks left before the princesses choose a man to take home with them, they need to meet more men. So they're planning a barbecue. Call him. Listen, don't take our eyes. Call him, call your friends from your workplace. Mm -hmm. Gabby will do the same. What if I have another date there? Huh? How will I be able to compare? 
How many dates you want to have? Maybe three or four, then I compare. Well, how, uh, how nice to make a uh, barbecue? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you? I think my, my friend. we'll get help. The princesses have all taken ordinary jobs to help in their undercover search for men. And it's here that they hope to find the guests for their weekend barbecue. So today we're inviting you for a barbecue in the house, me and the friends. The ladies. More used to being waited on than waiting tables, Cinderella is working in a cafe. Day of work. Alia normally watches sports from the comfort of a royal box. Hi, Kelly. But now she's Hi, serving in a cricket shop. Back to work. <laughs> How, How are you? you? Fine. And Gabby, more accustomed to being pampered in the salon, is now a stylist's assistant. And today she's working with Elliot again, really who she recently dated at a festival. Gabby. Yeah. Yeah. This is shorter. Yeah? Yes. So you've got to cut it so yes. that you can to that, yeah? Yes. And we want to make a barbecue on Saturday. On Saturday? Have you time on Saturday? I'm working in the day. Yeah, but in the night. Night time? Fine. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> right, that's done, I think. Fresh bubble, all oh, except for the beans. Cinderella's workmates are keen to hear how her search for a man has been going. How's your week, please? I went to the supermarket. Yeah. And, um, I... I met this guy. He's cool. He's he's cool. He's tall, chocolate. <laughs> he's he's handsome. Yeah. Yeah. We had a date last evening. A date? Yeah. He, he's good. <laughs> I think she's quite a fast mover actually. <laughs> but she does need a couple more dates. See whether she's in love with him or not. You can't go with your first man. <laughs> Thinking she should keep her options open and not just settle for Paul, Cinderella's work colleagues dress her up to attract other men. <laughs> Alia's boss is also hoping to assist in her search for a man by sending her out as the cricket shop flyer girl. Would you be interested in cricket? Okay. Hello, boys. Interested? In... <laughs> no. <laughs> Either they are too old or too young, or just not interested in cricket. Thank you. Oh, the distributing the flyers was not too good an idea. It wasn't. No. You didn't speak to anybody. They were no, too busy it's... just walking like oh, this. No, it, At it, least I tried. Yes, you did. <laughs> it, it, it helps your confidence in getting to speak to people and going up to people, doesn't yeah, it? So, yeah, yeah. You seem much more confident. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you. You're glowing and you, you seem like you're having fun now. <laughs> Alia may be starting to enjoy herself, but with time running out, all of the princesses are keen to meet more men. Tonight, they've got tickets to a football match. Today is a football match, and we'll go out. Essex, guys, here I come. With Michael <laughs> Owen and Theo Walcott on her list of ideal men, Cinderella is particularly excited. What is Cindy? Maybe Walcott could walk in to, you know, chill around, and, and I get to check him here. Oh, I just wish I pray. In the hope of meeting some new talent to invite to their barbecue, the princesses are going undercover at the non-league match between Billericay Town and Waltham Abbey. Definitely good looking. Double yeah. I like number seven. Oh no. Ah, from blue. There's no sign of Theo Walcott or Michael Owen, but Billericay boys Jamie Dormer and Chris Sullivan are impressing the princesses. They are here. I don't know who we are. It's funny and also very cool because we're freedom. We can feel free. You 
just free to do whatever you want. But I could not do that if I was back home. Because you know, when you're in the special place with the king and the whole royal family, you can't shout. Chris! Chris! At first I thought he was going to bore me, but I'm really enjoying myself. Who are you, Bruce? Come back again! I'm off the pitch, ever-confident Gabby is giving Alia a masterclass in meeting me. Ever been on a ferry over here, have you? <laughs> We've got, look, look, I've got one for each of you. <laughs> right, right. Would you like a British train ticket? Hey, yo! Make one for your hey, friend, yo. huh? Hey, yo! We're trying to watch the football and the guys are trying to kind of uh, engage us in some casual talk, asking us where are we yeah. from and all that. But I guess I'm more interested in the match. <laughs> At the final whistle, it's Billericay 1, Waltham Abbey 1, leaving only the princesses failing to score and unimpressed by the talent on offer. Too loud, stupid. I don't like them. I don't like them either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Halfway through their stay, some of the princesses are adjusting to undercover life in the UK better than others. <laughs> what are you thinking? Oh my god. <laughs> Gabby has had no problem attracting men and now has two dates to choose from hairdresser Elliot and James the fireman. After meeting Paul in the supermarket, picky Cinderella now has a strong contender to take home. But shy Alia is yet to go on her first date. She's the best in all this. Thank you, baby. Needing to increase the numbers of men to choose from, tonight all of the princesses are trying something new. Blind dating. For shy Alia, it's not just her first blind date, it's her first ever date. I've never done it before ever in my life, so it's kind of weird for me to go out on a date and that to a blind date. <laughs> and it's not just Alia feeling anxious. Going to meet somebody you do not know, somebody you've not met before, yeah, I'm quite nervous about it. And But again, I am looking forward to it. Maybe it's the man of my life, I don't know. Maybe not, maybe yes. You never know. The princesses will be meeting guys randomly selected from the singletons of Essex. The men think their dates are making a documentary about British culture. Gabby's blind date is 22-year-old Led Zeppelin fan, Adam. They're meeting up at a live music venue. Hello. Hi. Gabby? Yeah. Adam, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Would you like a drink at all? Or? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, how's the ride down here? Is it nice? Or? Yeah. Cinderella has a date 10 pin bowling with Essex local Dave. Poor. So far, he's the best contestant, but I just want the door left open to meet other guys. Although Paul is top of the list, Cinderella is hoping Dave will be another hot contender. That's yours. That's for you. I'm Dave. Oh, hi. Yeah. This is, I'm Cinderella. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Well, <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> right, come on. What's the matter? <laughs> OK, so you're the one I'm supposed to meet? Oh, yes. All right. You all right? Good. <laughs> it's a nice vlog. This is very nice. Been a bit quiet, but I'm sure she'll uh, come out of her shell, as you can say. So, let's see. Cheers. <laughs> I'm looking for many things in a man. He has to be handsome, he has to be good looking, he has to be from an aristocratic family. Across town, Alia's first ever date, Billericay boy Simon, is waiting for her in a nearby pub. Still uncertain about what lies ahead, Alia remembers the advice of her dating coach. He's 
said, be yourself, be warm, friendly, use that laughter more often. <laughs> Is this the place? Oh God, do I have to ask for him? What's his name? Simon. <laughs> Simon? Hi. Yeah. Hi, Alia. Yeah. How are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? Fine. <laughs> how, how have you been? Good. Doing a lot of different things every day. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> come from far? I come from Indistan. Oh, right. But originally I'm from India. Oh, right. <laughs> Alia tries out the dating tip she's learnt to generate some interesting conversation. And what do you do? I'm a chef. Oh, you cook? Yeah. <laughs> where, where do you work? I uh, work in a pub in uh, uh, Biliviki. Biliviki? <clears throat> Would you like to drink some? Yeah. yeah. Um, Please. Small one. Yeah, small one. <laughs> While Alia considers an early exit, as ever, confident Gabby is enjoying her date. We have the same interests and so we have uh, good conversations. What means your tattoo? Oh, my tattoo is um, Led Zeppelin. Really? Yeah, is yeah. It's, text? Yeah, it's all no. uh, good times, bad times. Got the, got the really? song on my arm. Yeah. The music was very good and uh, the place is cool and chilled. And yeah, maybe we have a second date. Mm. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Back at the pub, Alia's date is trying out some of his chat up lines. The weather hasn't been up too much, has it? Hmm? Weather hasn't been up too much, has it? The weather's quite good, in fact. Yeah. Really, very really nice. I've never been to India. You've never been uh, there? I've uh, no, no, a few people have and said it's a nice place there. You have uh, friends from India? Oh, no, I've um, no friends who've been, been to India. Been to okay. India. Okay. Not put off by a completely unexcited Cinderella, her date, Dave, is hoping that she will enjoy doing something new. I don't find this interesting. I find it, I find it more of a, of a kid game. I, I don't really like it. Oh. Oh, God. There they are. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's the first time. Oh, that was good. It's boring. Right. While Cinderella fails to share Dave's enthusiasm for bowling, back in the pub, Simon and Alia have run out of things to say. I think I'll have to leave. Oh, I think. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Yeah. So nice meeting you. Yeah, and you. Yeah. After just 24 minutes, Alia abandons her date. Right. Don't ask. <laughs> Returning home to find Gabby, she has plenty to talk about. I wanted to get out. I was out in 10. <laughs> What's your status? I said I have to meet my friends. They're meeting me. <laughs> so not a uh, number from him? No. <laughs> no. No number. I, don't, I can't even remember his name. And things haven't improved for Cinderella's date either. I want to go home now. You want to go home? Yeah. I want to... I want to go out of here. Yeah. So it's been a very nice, enjoyable evening. Thank you. <laughs> Thank I you know you didn't like it. Yeah, I didn't like it. Thank you for introducing me to this new... Bowling. New bowling. <laughs> well, next time, you'll be good. <laughs>
It was her first experience of bowling, and she said to me it was more for children than what she thought, and would people take someone here on their first date? I think, yes, why not? Hello. Oh, someone got the flower. Why are you walking so depressingly? <laughs> but you have a flower, that's good. Stop! What is that? Oh, <laughs> Why are you throwing the poor flower? You know, a disappointment. I would have stayed in my bed and sleep. <laughs> I was just wasting my time till, till he said, you seem bored. I said, yeah. <laughs> Blind dating might not be for all our princesses, but one thing's for sure, the date with Dave has kept supermarket Paul at the top of Cinderella's list. In less than a week's time, the undercover princesses must choose a potential suitor to take home. And today's barbecue is the perfect opportunity to meet some more men and have another look at the dates they've had so far. I'm excited about seeing Paul, but Paul is not the only guy in Essex. Come on. I'm just excited about meeting other people, other guys. But with no staff to help, the princesses have got their hands full. <laughs> With not long before the guests arrive, Gabby calls the one man she knows can help, James the Fireman. It's Gabby. Uh, we're trying to make the barbecue working, but we're uh, <laughs> three girls. Women Paul! <laughs> cool, thank you. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. You're going to set up the gazebo alone because I'm doing a very difficult task. So what? Ooh, the gazebo. What is that? That's ten. Uh, no, you say I can try it. Try it. Now. Where are the tables? Get the chair out. Oh. <laughs> Hiya. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Nixie Gabby. Gabby. Yeah. It's you are James. James the Yes. Gabby. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> I am Cinderella. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm James. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you, you stand there and hold the, hold the umbrella, right? I'll put this together. It's all right. <laughs> James has helped the princesses get everything ready just in time for the guests to arrive. Charlie. Ben, nice to meet you. Ben, nice to meet you. Love <laughs> 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 Hi. Woo! <laughs> All right, guys. They're too young for me, I guess. <laughs> Not put off by their last meeting, blind date Dave has turned up for a second attempt at impressing Cinderella. We've got some beer in the cans, we, we have some wine. Do you want some wine? Wine. I'll find you one of mine, mate. Perfect for you. Perfect. <laughs> Someone fairly tall. Gabby! Gabby Bellerang! <laughs> tall in the air. And definitely, or... definitely not kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While Dave is making himself useful with the cooking, I don't mind cooking. I quite enjoy it, yeah. Cinderella's other date, Paul, arrives. Hi, Paul? Yeah. Hi, Alia. How are you? Hi, Come. Cindy? Yeah. Someone for you? <laughs> when he comes and he takes her his hand. Hello. Hi, Hi I'm Gabby. I'm Rhys, how are you? Oh, I'm nice to meet you. you. Yeah. We're the hottest one. <laughs> Rhys, a friend of some of the guests, is the next man through the door, and oh, Gabby good. instantly good. takes a liking to him. How old are you? 22 now. 22? Yeah. Hmm. How old are you? 23. Ah. I'm an older woman. <laughs> older I think woman. everybody oh, is younger than me. It's no, incredible. You're too old for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just opened the door one minute. Yay! 
Just as Gabby has her eye on someone new, her other date, Elliot, arrives. So far, Gabby has three potential suitors and Cinderella has two. But Alia is still not confident enough to talk to men. Gabby has an idea to help her join in. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Twister time! Left hand blue. That's sexy! What else is hanging What? Oh, oh, <laughs> Hi, I can smell you. <laughs> Finally, shy Alia gets involved. Right what? hand green. Oh, I've never played Twister before. It was fun. They're just kind of making people lose their inhibitions. So, kind of getting friendly. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh. While Gabby and Alia bond with the boys, Cinderella appears to have forgotten she's hosting a party. You make me feel great. You are great. You make me feel like I'm somebody so important. You are someone. <laughs> <laughs> I have some. The barbecue is over, and time has nearly run out in the undercover princess's search to find true love in the UK. In less than a week, they must choose a man to take home. Gabby is spoiled for choice and has the boys vying for her attention. I really like her, man. Hopefully she gives me a call. Yeah, I'd like to see her again. Um, whether I will or not, I'm not sure. Um, but. We'll see. You have three, three boys in yeah. one go. I feel I'm so confused because who do you think rates first? James? Elliot? I like the new one. Oh, Reese. Mm. With one week to go, has ultra picky Cinderella fallen in love already? Let me go to him. This is what he want. Give me hmm? your hand. Give me your hand. <laughs> this is what he want. I just feel lovely when I'm with poor. Oh, God. This guy is really nice. Very nice. Let us see what fear brings. <laughs> and shy Alia has taken strides since the tears of her first week, but has still failed to meet anyone she likes. So, Alia, what is the way forward? What are you going to do, as in finding a date? The days are running. My mistress' drive doesn't seem to be around. So, uh, I think I'm going to try speed dating. Let's see what Good it is. Idea, yeah. I'll also go with you for speed dating. Oh. Can do anything that's going to do. Next time on The Undercover Princesses, <laughs> Love is in the air. I promised you a light one. I was speechless. <laughs> He's definitely my day it has been good. He is someone very nice, very warm, very friendly. He's a bubbly personality. <laughs> the princesses must choose who to take home to their kingdoms. So I have a half day to make my decision. <laughs> and reveal their true identities. Hi. My name is not Gabby. My title is Princess Alia. <laughs> Do you think? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't guess we at all. No. Fell hook, line, and sinker for this. And face the reality of returning to life as a princess. What if they don't accept him? What will I do? And, and more, what will he do? My name is Xenia Gabriela Florence Sophie Iris, Princess of Saxonia. I am Princess Vanunji, Sheila, Cinderella, and Sali. I'm Princess Alia Sultana Babi of Palasinor. And I am single. Three single princesses looking for true love. I am honest. I'm very easygoing. I am faithful. Fat loving. I love the world. I love the world. Someone who shares their interests. A lot of people say she's, she's ugly, but she's my best friend. My favorite films are Slumdog Millionaire, The Devil Wears Prada, Gone with the Wind, etc. I love children, they're my best friends. And we're best friends, no? We're best friends. Somebody British. I like Hugh Grant. Prince Harry and William. Hugh Grant. Sean Connery. I want to meet Robbie Williams. Prince Philip. And so they've left their kingdoms behind and come to England to find true love.
To ensure the people they meet love them for themselves and not their royal title, the princesses have gone undercover. Oh, that's sexy. I'm here for true love. Yeah. And the people that love me for myself. I always believe in destiny. If my destiny is in England, <laughs> I don't know. So far, they have had mixed fortunes in their search for the perfect match. Cheers. Cheers. And not in my nature to approach guys. I can't do it. I have three basketball. Really? <laughs> now they have just one week to find the man of their dreams. I had no idea that it was going to be proved so difficult for me to get the dates. He gave me a, a peck on the lead. I feel like shy. You're my favorite British person ever. Yeah? Yeah. Yay. Before they reveal their true identities. My full name is Princess Xenia. Princess <laughs> What do you think? And invite a chosen one back to their kingdoms. I'm inviting you to come to India. Why don't you come to, with me to Germany and see my world? This is the story of the undercover princesses. Princesses are running out of time if they want to find the man of their dreams in the UK. Yesterday they hosted a barbecue in an attempt to meet more men. Good morning. Good morning. What did you think of the barbecue? You know what's the craziest moment for me? Yeah. When Elliot, James and Reese playing Twister together. It was like... Oh! So that the people they meet like them for themselves and not for their titles, the princesses have been posing as ordinary girls. While Princess Alia has kept her own name, Princess Ksenia has been using the undercover name Gabby. And hoping to find her Prince Charming, Princess Shayla has renamed herself Cinderella. You want a drink? Um, yeah, be nice. So far, Gabby has been on two successful dates. One with hairdresser Elliot, who she met at work, and the other with Fireman James. Go on, honey. He's a very nice guy, and we have a lot of fun, and it's very cool. But at the barbecue, someone else caught her eye. Oh, I love Take care. I'll call you. Bye. Shy Alia has only been on one date. The weather hasn't been up too much, has it? And overall has struggled to get to grips with Western-style dating. The place I come from, it's not the girl who does the approaching. That's one of the reasons, I think, which... Uh, uh, I'm still holding back. And amazingly, picky Cinderella met basketball star Paul in the supermarket. So you're a mushroom lover like me. And now has a strong contender to take home. I just met my playmate. If all dates are going to be like this, ooh. <laughs> Today, Cinderella has a second date with favourite Paul. Of all the dates I've heard here, he's, he has the first place because he has more of the qualities I need than the other dates I've had. Oh, Paul. Hi, Cinderella. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Fine. Paul Good. is taking Cinderella for a picnic. <laughs> By the end of this week, the princesses hope to invite a partner back to their kingdoms. So this date is another chance for Cinderella to find out if Paul could be the one. So where's, this is the blue chairs. I thought it was blue. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've not eaten this before. It has chili in it, right? Thank you, I love chili very much. It's so tasty, you know, you, 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 you trapped me <laughs> when you put chili in this food. Trust me. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome. It's nice. <laughs> I am Princess Mvanonji, Shayla, Cinderella, and Sali of the Kingdom of Buganda. 31-year-old Princess Shayla is from the largest and most powerful kingdom in Uganda. Everyone knows me, maybe because of 
what I do. Somebody may read you in the newspapers, and then somebody will see a picture in the video, then somebody else will hear you on the radio. Princess Shayla's fame has reached even greater heights, as she also has a pop star career. Tomorrow, a tabloid will call to know something about you when you say, when you refuse to answer, they what what they think. As one of the most famous women in her country, the princess has found it difficult to find love. I'd like to meet somebody who loves me as me. Not because I'm a princess, not because I'm a celebrity. So I'd like somebody to love me the way I am. <laughs> you sure you're not happy to see me? Yeah, I'm, I'm extremely happy. I'm happy to see you again, too. Mm. <laughs> he gave me a, a peck on the leaf and I, I feel like shy. <laughs> I get to like Paul more and more every day. When I'm with him, I just don't want him to go. <laughs> this is lovely. It's lovely. If I have a chance to have her in my life, I think I would grab it. <laughs> While Cinderella's search for love is blossoming with Paul, shy Alia has not yet had any successful dates in the UK. Yeah. Gabby thinks internet dating could be a solution <laughs> and is writing Alia's profile. Alia is such a lovely and beautiful person, one of my best friends and an intelligent and brave woman. She has no... I think it's better than going to bars and pubs and try to find a date. I think this is a much more better, part, better option. But just hope that it's successful. Okay, not be, not be shy. Thank and confidence. You. You're welcome, baby. With just a week left to find her Prince Charming, Alia needs to find a date soon, or she'll be going home alone. It feels very strange doing this. I had no idea that it was going to be proved so difficult for me to kind of uh, get the dates. I don't know what, what may come off. <sighs> Let's see. While Alia's search for Mr. Wright continues, Cinderella is getting ready for her second date of the day with Paul. Mm. To help with her butterflies, she is relying on an ancient Ugandan tradition, eating clay. Mm. It just comes you. So when I'm like confused and onto something, I just take my clay, relax, and trust me, I'll just, just get a solution. Huh. Mm. Mm. After a romantic day in the park, Paul's taking Cinderella for a night on the town in Essex. Taking Cinderella out to see her moves. <laughs> her Caribbean moves. <laughs> I'm all Caribbean. Oh, yeah, you're a Caribbean. No, I'm all Caribbean. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm African. OK, well, you would become a Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> It's too early to know who he is. He may turn out to be more than a boyfriend or less than a date. <laughs> Being undercover is giving Cinderella a whole new freedom to get close to a man. <laughs> you got naughty. A little Great. naughty. A little? Yeah, I got a little. I got very naughty. <laughs> It's 4 a.m. and Cinderella is still not home. We can't sleep. We're waiting for her. Waiting for Cindy. <laughs> Cindy just vanished into the living room with Paul. With Paul, and she didn't even bother to say hello to us. What's this? You go. No. You go. No. Go. Go. No. <laughs> <coughs> I know 
know definitely that she not make something naughty. She's a good girl. <laughs> no, yeah, let them be. Please sleep for 30 minutes here. Don't go here in this chair. In the sofa here. <laughs> It's five in the morning when Cinderella finally lets Paul go. As Gabby hopes to pick someone to take home with her by the end of the week, she has set up two dates today. Later, she'll date new boy Reese, who she met at the barbecue. But first, she is going out with Elliot. I'm looking forward to spending definitely more time with Elliot because I must make a choose. And at the moment, I've not the feeling to put someone in my home and my privacy. Knowing her love of animals, Elliot is hoping to win over Gabby's affections with a trip to the zoo. That's the cutest I'm thing I ever in. saw in my life. What about the sloth? There was two sloths somewhere. I want to have one. He's so cute. Let's have a look at bigger monkeys. Yeah. Bye, little monkey babies. Spider monkey. Woo! <laughs> cool. I love, yeah. I love monkeys. They've got the worst bumps. Yeah. yeah. Look at oh, he's weeing. What? Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> my full title is Xenia, Gabriela, Florence, Sophie, Iris, Princess of Saxony and Duchess to Saxony. And I'm proud of it. <laughs> In her native Germany, Princess Ksenia has struggled to find true love. What I don't like is when guys that I say, okay, I'm a princess, they think, oh, the character is, doesn't matter, she's, she's rich, she's beautiful, and she's a princess. Oh, well. Princess Ksenia is searching for someone who truly loves her for herself and not for her royal title. I'm searching for a boy that loves myself and love my character and not for I'm a princess. And she is hoping her perfect man will be in the UK. A man must be gentleman and funny. It doesn't matter if he's tall or small or big or thin. It's the inside, it's the character that makes people who they are. So pretty. Oh my god. Hi, he's pretty. It's the cutest. Do you want to hold it? Yeah. Uh, go on in. If she does it, I'll do it. <laughs> he's tickling. Yeah, he smells your hand. Uh, yeah. I really enjoy Gabby's company. <laughs> She's a cool girl. I think we're having fun. To remind Gabby of their special date, Elliot has bought her a keepsake. His name is Elliot, the monkey. <laughs> Elliot the monkey. Elliot the monkey. The cutest thing ever a man gave me. Really? Yeah. He's the best monkey in the world. Elliot is very lovely and sweet. I'm very happy and yeah, it's, it's a, such a good day. We saw the little, little cutie monkeys. I mean, we're monkey friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Monkey! <laughs> you can guess who will give it to me. The monkey friend. Yeah, my monkey friend. Elliot. Yay! It's the cutest thing ever. So how do you feel about it? Yeah, I don't know. I have feelings for him, definitely, but I don't know if it's friendship or it's a little and bit more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. He's sweet. Mm -hmm. While Gabby and Cinderella's love quest is going from strength to strength, Alia is still struggling. Her internet search has not paid off, and she has no new dating leads. I definitely am feeling pressurised, but at the same time, it's just that I can't just approach any person. With just three days to go to find a man before they return home, Gabby and Cinderella think that speed dating could be the answer for shy Alia. 
they are coming to you, you are not on that pressure to approach yeah. them, and then they will have to talk about themselves first. Yeah? Is it oh. something like uh, how we are sitting right now? I have no idea. And Gabby yeah. is going to show her how it's done. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Gabby. Okay, um, I like food, I like roses, and uh, <laughs> do you drink? Yes. Do you smoke? Yes. You have Next. a girlfriend? Yes. See you later. <laughs> Next! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't know. Oh. I have never done it before. It's like I can't, uh, I mean, I can. Hi, hello, how are you, brother? Hello, like I can do that. that. You're much better than me. Uh, but say, One, two, I, three. I, 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 my official title is Nawab Zadi, Alia Sultana Babi of Balasanur. At 35, Indian princess Alia has not found her Mr. Right. But she's not giving up hope. If he's destined to come, then he will come on a white horse. But as I always uh, joke with my friends and family, I always say that my prospective suitor is coming on a lame horse. That's why he's taking so long to come. A true romantic. Princess Alia is hoping that she will find her ideal man in the UK. If I'm going to choose someone, he has to be someone who will love me for myself, not for anything else. So I think love is very important, because without love, one can't survive. Who's found love? Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> if I got married to Paul... You're calling us? I'd invite... Hey, come on! <laughs> I'd invite you! <laughs> we'll be the bridesmaid. Yes. <laughs> With Cinderella fixed on Paul and Gabby looking forward to another date tonight. I have a date, I have a, I have a date with Reese. Mm -hmm. He's a man. Reese is interesting That's before you even go out for a date. <laughs> the girls hope Alia has some luck at the speed dating. To successful speed dating. Oh, yeah. oh. Alia, my makeup. With only three days to go, the princesses haven't got time to waste. Bye, girls. As Gabby heads off to her date with Reese, Cinderella and Alia are getting ready for speed dating. I am nervous because I've never done it before. So when I start talking to men, when I think, you know, should I pop the question or something, I think that's the time when I'm like kind of nervous and I said, no, I shouldn't do it. <laughs> Cinderella is going along to support Alia but still intends to give the men a good grilling. Do you drink? Do you smoke? Are you educated? Are you God-fearing? Do you have a child? Those are the questions that I want to ask. Hey. Hello. Hi, John. Are you all right? Nice to see you. Yeah, you looking lovely. Mwah. Thank you. Mwah. Gabby and Reese oh, yeah. are having an early sitting in a quiet That's restaurant. <laughs> What's a monkfish? Just a, it's like a type of fish. Like monkey. No, 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 it's not, it doesn't look like a monkey, no. Monkfish. It's called monkfish, yeah. <laughs> Unaware Gabby is a princess, Reese is straight in with his Essex boy charm. There's one German sentence that I know, and it's a really corny sentence, but it's a handy one to know. Yeah. Ich liebe dich. Oh. <laughs> That's the only sentence. so lovely. <laughs> As Reese yeah. tells Gabby he loves her, Cinderella helps Alia look for her own love at speed dating. How are you? I'm good. Good, good, good. Where are you from, Alia? Gujarat. Gujarat, yeah? yeah? Been long in England? Two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. Are you missing India? I miss the food. The vegetables are very fresh out there, aren't they? Yes. They're not chemicalised in any way. I'm Steve, by the way. Steve? Yes, yeah, Steve. Cinderella. Cinderella. Mate, I'm um, crap at spelling. You have to spell that. Yeah, just... <laughs> Can I just make it up as a... C-I... C-I-N-D... D-I-E... So I guess Indian food is definitely very popular in England. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think it's the second uh, biggest takeout in the UK. Yeah. It's been nice to meet you. Same here. Thank you. Yeah. Definitely a big no. Not my type. Definitely. I found it was too rough. While speed dating is drawing a blank for Alia, and Cinderella can't find anyone for her either. I mean, last year, as we in the paper, the bottled water wasn't healthy for him because it's so purified that took all the goodness out of him. Yet again, Gabby is having a successful date. With your sex. 
Maybe we can go tomorrow for playing tennis. I will try to wear a yeah? sexy tennis skirt. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea. <laughs> I'll do the same. <laughs> Let's play tennis. Nice one. Cool. And I'm going to win, obviously. Uh -uh. <laughs> She's stunning girl, like, you know, I can't, what can I say? Very attracted to her, yeah. Good, good stuff. I'm very interested for the tennis tomorrow with my sexy tennis girl. Oh, such a lovely boy. <laughs> As Gabby secures a second date with Reese tomorrow, back at speed dating, Cinderella and Alia are interviewing more potential love interests. Hi there. I didn't get your name. Tim. Tim? Yeah. Oh, okay. Your name is? Alia. Hi, oh, Alia. Nice to meet you. I don't have a list of questions. You don't have a list? No. Is there anything? Can I borrow need? yours? <laughs> <laughs> now I can see you drink. Yeah, I like a beer now and then. Okay, you smoke? Uh, yes, I do smoke, yes. That was very scared. Yeah. Just as she thought like speed room. dating was also going to be a failure. Alia has finally met someone she likes. I'm going to London tomorrow. Right. Okay. Would you like to show me London? Yeah, I would, I would very much like to come out and show you okay. London. Have you... I, I need to check with work. Okay. And then, uh, if I can, that's fine. Yeah, I'd love to. Okay. Yeah. And um, can I have your number or you take my number? <laughs> At last, Alia has taken the plunge. For the first time in her life, she has asked a man out on a date. I got my first date on my own. I kind of asked a guy, which I can't believe I did it. <laughs> Speed dating! <laughs> Back at the house, Alia can't wait to tell Gabby her news. Alia is going to London tomorrow. <gasps> With him. He's cute. He I'm sure you'll like him. And he comes to your, to your table and what he says? He comes and he's like, uh, hello, introduces himself and then he says, oh, I have a list of questions on a paper. So I said, oh, I don't have. Can I have yours? <laughs> really? Can you believe I said that? I'm so proud of you <laughs> then. While Alia is excited, Gabby's successful date with Reese has left her with a dilemma about who to take home to her kingdom. I'm very, very confused. Yeah, I like Elliot still. But maybe Reese is the, the best decision. I have no idea. It's at the moment I feel so confused. <sighs> it's a big day for Cinderella, as is Paul's birthday, and she's taken him away for a romantic night in Southend. So I think he will definitely like my present, <laughs> because he's not expecting it anyway. I'm a good dropper! <laughs> Gabby also has a date today. She is going to play tennis with Reese. At the moment, it's uh, Elliot versus Reese. Um, today, I go to play tennis with Reese, so it's his second chance to, um, to impress me. At speed dating yesterday, Alia made a first date with Tim, but she's had some bad news. Unfortunately, Tim can't make it. Uh, because um, uh, his work, uh, he's got work today, he can't get the day off. Not giving up on finding someone, she's agreed to go on another blind date in London. Cinderella and Paul are on their way to South End. As Cinderella is living undercover and doesn't want Paul to know she's a princess, she's arranged for them to stay in a budget B and B. <laughs> wow. There's no view of the sea. Thanks for the starting of a beautiful day. <laughs> I think we, we, you know, we have a bond. We just feel so free with each other. It's like we've known each other for quite a long time. 
<laughs> we just we just have a bond. But I just want him to have the best of his birthday, you know. I just want him to be happy, real happy. As Cinderella and Paul head out to explore South End, Alia has arrived in London to meet her blind date, Mark. Good to meet you. Alia. Nice to meet you, Alia. Same, yeah. Seat. Yeah. Have you gone out on blind dates before? Never in my life. And this must be pretty cool for you. Like, are you? is your family sort of into arranged marriages, or are they...? <laughs> yeah, very much. Really? <laughs> very much arranged marriages. Mm -hmm. I can show you around if the weather is good and... <clears throat> OK, stuff. that would be fine. Mark is unaware that Alia is a princess, but she is keen to find out what he thinks about royalty. Do people still in England have the same kind of um, love, respect and adoration for the royal family? Um, some people do. I personally don't, because a lot of them just act like a bunch of idiots all the time. Well, no, I don't really have a lot of time for the royal family, but they're not very powerful anyway. They can't influence the government. They, okay, yeah. It's yeah. just more that they're born into fame and the Queen has to wave like this. But still, it is something. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He doesn't know my true identity. Uh, he doesn't know that maybe if my father would have written to the Queen, I'm sure I would have been able to go to Buckingham Palace. So if Mark would have come to know that I can have access to the Queen, I'm sure he would be shocked. Got it? How's that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Despite Mark's royal faux pas, Alia's enjoying his company. She has a lovely smile. Yeah, she's a bubbly personality. She's a cool girl. Uh, Mark has asked me for my number, which I've given it to him. I felt that, OK, someone is definitely interested in me. So, yeah, I felt, I felt great. I think, as I said, my confidence level has definitely gone up. And, um, yeah, it, it really feels nice when a guy asks you for a number. And I would never give my numbers to just about anyone. As Alia's love quest finally blossoms, Cinderella and Paul's relationship is going from strength to strength in South End. Yeah, man. <laughs> Just let yourself fall, don't study it. Just close your eyes. Cinderella, just relax yourself and let yourself fall. That's all you have to do. <laughs> Are you okay? No, 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 no. One more time? No, no. <laughs> I'm having fun with Paul. I feel like I want to be with Paul all the time. It's lovely being around him. He's a gentleman. While Cinderella and Paul only have eyes for each other, <laughs> wow. Gabby has two men competing for her heart, Elliot and today's tennis date, Reese. And she's kept hey. her promise of a sexy Lovely. little skirt. Very nice, I like it. So let's go. Let's play German, some tennis. German foul versus England. Yes, that's it. Da, da, da. Eyes on the ball. When you're serving, you aim to get it in the opposite box. If you can imagine, if you're in this side. Box. Or in the big box. <laughs> oh, it's very sweet. It's a good trainer. Hey, it was good. Oh. Yeah. And Paul sees she's never played before and uh, keeps missing the ball and gets to my point and I'm like, trying to let her win. Come on, Reesey boy. Show me what you got. <laughs> I know that he let me win, but it's sweet. But he's a good boy, and so he makes me happy today. Maybe she's attracted to me. I'd like to think so. But uh, I'm certainly attracted to her. 
was a pretty cool day. Today's tennis date has made Reese a strong contender with Elliot, leaving Gabby a difficult decision to make. Yeah, the decision between Elliot and Reese is not finished. I don't know. I'm so confused. It's so nice guys. Back in Southend, aware that their time together in the UK is soon coming to an end, Paul is keen to know how Cinderella truly feels. How do you feel about me? So how do you feel about me? I feel I'm, I'm fond of you, glad to be around you, and much more which would I, I wouldn't say. Much more which you won't say? Exactly. So why don't you say the much more? When you answer my question, <laughs> as you're supposed to answer it, I would say it's, the rest. That's a revenge. No, that's not a revenge. It is. You could try to hide your feelings, but your eyes can't hide them. <laughs> It's not long until Cinderella chooses a man to take back to her kingdom, and she seems to have made up her mind. So why are you in love with me? To a light one. Good boy. I love her, I care about her. Every time I spend a little time with her, it just a feeling it just grows. I've never felt this way, definitely before. I think he's in love with me. Yeah. I think truly I'm falling in love with Paul. Talk and kiss. Yeah. He did not even touch me at night. He never. We just slept. He's a gentleman. This morning is the first time she ever looked me in my face and said, I love you. Two times she said it. I feel I love him. I love him. He has opened my heart because I had closed my heart for some time, for so long. Smile. Can you see? <laughs> just <too big. laughs> I won't let you go. I could spend the rest of my life right here. Freezing to death. <laughs> <laughs> mm, you're such a guy. You're such a lady. <laughs> After a blissful night away with Paul, Cinderella can't wait to share some amazing news with the girls. He wants to marry me. I'm in love with him. I'm in love with Paul. But falling in love with someone outside her royal lineage will not be easy. I don't know what will happen when I take him home. You can try it. Oh. At least give it a try, yeah. Maybe they love them so much that they say it doesn't matter everything. But when he comes home, he will not have the fun like he has had with me here. He will never walk with me on the street. Yeah. He can never hold my hands. Why not? Orthodox family. But it's love. <laughs> love, you don't know what happens with me. I'm holding two flags, my dear. Well, Those are things know? I cannot do in public. <laughs> so I'm, <laughs> I'm very okay here, very free, but when I go home, it's like I'm in prison. As Cinderella worries for her future with Paul, 
Alia is going on a second date with Mark. She wants to find out if he might be the one to invite back to India, and they are going go-karting. Good to Hello. see you again. Hi. How are How you are doing? You? I'm good. Good to see you. I'm feeling like a six-year-old right now. <laughs> I'm feeling all excited and ready to roll. Just try it. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, Brian. There we go. Yeah, you're in. Okay. There you go. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, just try it. It's not going to kill you. Um, I, I feel claustrophobic. <laughs> Why don't you just go ahead? I'll watch you. Okay. <laughs> you can before cheer you, me before on. You, before you get you started, and then if you want to try again, you I'll, can try uh, again I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. I'll do that. I can't put my helmet. I'm claustrophobic. I so desperately wanted to do this, but because of my being claustrophobic with the helmet, I couldn't do it. Uh, I don't know how Mark felt about me. Sorry for being a disappointment. No, you weren't, weren't a disappointment <laughs> at all. So now yeah. what do we do from here? I'll give you a text. We'll try and catch up another day when I've got more time. Okay. So you let me know, and uh, I will possible, do, yeah. yeah, we'll definitely meet up. Yeah, totally. Lovely seeing you. Okay, and, um, bye. Yeah. See, you later. See you, bye. Once again, things haven't quite worked out for Alia, as her date with Mark didn't go as well as she hoped. By tomorrow, each princess must decide who to invite home to their kingdoms. And tonight, Gabby has arranged a final date with Elliot to help her choose between him and Rhys. Hello. I hope that I'll be able to decide tonight. I must be able to decide tonight. It's really, really good fit and good feeling to know that they're, they're definitely the first guys in all of the time of my life that 100% just like me for who I am. Nice to see you. We're a partner. We're matching. Apple grinder. Oh, I like it. <laughs> That's a Wookiee. That's Chewbacca. That's Star Wars. I've never ever done that on a day. I've to... <laughs> Across town, Cinderella is also having a date with Paul. Love sick. Let's make one day a tattoo, a uh, monkey tattoo together. On our bums. <laughs> You're my favourite British person ever. Yeah? Yeah. Yay. She's going home quite shortly. Um, I'm trying not to think about it much. It's going to be a bit disappointment. This is a love date. <laughs> That was a really, really nice uh, dinner. Thank you. Oh, thank you. It was good company. Yes. Bye. 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 Thank you. When I go home, I will miss Elliot. This is, he's in my heart. He's, he's... We're like soul buddies. I don't know. It's... I really love him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. After three weeks of living undercover in the UK, tomorrow the princesses must reveal their royal status, and they are worried about how their chosen partners will respond. Mark is the only contender whom I can take back to India. I don't know how Mark is going to react after I tell him who I am. Now the undercover time is over and tomorrow everything comes out and this is another very exciting part of all this time because I think this will be the hardest part to tell the truth and I've really given him a picture that I am nothing, I am nobody. I'm just a very simple girl. So, I don't know. I don't know really what I'm going to do, but I have to reveal it. Today, the undercover princesses must reveal their true identities and invite their chosen partners back to their kingdoms 
hoping that their relationships will continue to flourish. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Having initially struggled to find romance in the UK, Alia has now had two dates with Mark. Hi, Mark. Need to speak to you about something, so text me back as and when you're free. Thanks. Take care. I'm very anxious to tell him who I am. Gabby has been successful on the dating scene and has two contenders to choose from, <laughs> Elliot and Rhys. My name is Xenia Gabriela Florence Sophie Iris, Princess of Saxony, <laughs> so I'm a princess. And amazingly, Cinderella has fallen head over heels in love with Paul. Oh, oh my. I'm supposed to do this. I'm doing everything wrong. It's because I'm nervous. I feel so, so scared to break the truth. Yet I cannot live with it anymore. I have to tell Paul, but I'm nervous. I don't know his reaction. I love your dress. Just what is it for a cute animal in front of your dress? Is it a cat? <laughs> no, it's a cab. <laughs> What's <is> that? <laughs> it's a young of a leopard. It's a meow. <laughs> it's, it's a meow. Which noise make it? <sighs> You need help? This is not a monkey. You love monkeys. Is it a monkey? No, it's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you nervous? I am. I am. I am nervous. Are you? Mm, not. I think not so like you. Mine is involves somebody's heart. So I, I am a little nervous. Truly, I am. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just pray for me. Mark has not uh, replied to the text I sent him, maybe because he, uh, uh, the school has just started and he could be busy, so he's not replied as yet. With no reply from Mark and just 24 hours until she returns to India, Alia may not invite anyone back to her kingdom. Uh, we, we were here to find true love, but uh, I, I always believe in destiny. If it has to happen, it'll happen. So I, I didn't find my Mr. Right here in England, so I think, um, uh, I, but I made some wonderful friends here. The time has come for the princesses to reveal who they really are to their chosen ones. Yeah, I'm very nervous. I have butterflies in my belly. I hope he likes me the same. Xenia like Gabby before. As Mark didn't reply, Alia has decided to go and reveal her true identity to the Essex girls she made friends with in her first week. Okay, now guys, before we go any further, I need to tell you a bit of truth. What? Come on then. <laughs> ready? I'm ready. Ready? Yeah. My name is Alia. Yes. My title is Princess Alia. Princess? Princess Alia. Alia. Oh! oh I am Princess Alia Susanna Babi of Balasinor from oh, India. <laughs> <laughs> I want to guess. We actually no. fell hook, line, and sinker for this. If I'd have known she was a princess beforehand, because I thought, oh my god, what am I going to say? What am I going to do? But, you know, that, just have to be yourself, don't you? And we got on fine. So, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad I know now, but I'm probably glad I didn't know to start with. <laughs> As Alia hasn't found a man to take home to her royal kingdom, she has a surprise for Emma. You know, the purpose of my coming to England was to find my Mr. Right, to find the perfect English gentleman. Yes. But in the process, I made some wonderful friends here. And I've got a surprise for you. I'm inviting you to come to India. <laughs> I want good. you to I want you to come to India and experience my culture, my life. I've never been to India. So uh, come come and be a princess. Oh, thank you. It'll be lovely. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's just asked me to go to India and uh, spend a few days in the palace <laughs> with the uh, other royalty. Yes, it's shocked. And I'm very glad that I made these uh, wonderful friends just for my just with my name and uh, my personality, not with my title. After a week of deciding between Reese and Elliot, Gabby has finally made her decision. <laughs> I 
Okay. Nice to see you. <laughs> Sit down. All right. There's Hello. something I want to tell you. Okay. My first name is not Gabby. No? <laughs> okay. My name is Princess Xenia Gabriela Florence Sophie Iris, Princess of Saxony and Duchess to Saxony. What? I'm a princess. I'm yeah. nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous too. What do you think? It's big. <laughs> it's big. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> You're still Gabby. Yeah, for you. Just for me. Just for you. Hello. Will you come to, with me to Germany and sing my words? Yeah. Yeah? That's, yeah. Still monkey friends? Oh my friends. <laughs> That's amazing. I was completely blank, if I'm honest with you. I just, like... Everything inside of me just kind of just stopped. My heart stopped. He accepted that I'm Ksenia and that I, I am a princess, but he also said uh, that I'm for him Gabby and that Gabby is my inside myself. And he saw, saw that. For you never know it will, if it will become love or not. Obviously, before I knew, I, I knew that we'd, we've got something genuine. Maybe things will progress, but we're worlds apart. <laughs> I'm very, very, very pleased and happy that he can come to me, to Germany, and I can show him my work. I I choose you, I hold you, I love you. Whoa! Oh. Amazing. Big <laughs> leave it here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let's get up to, up to my sticker. Last but not least, it's time for Cinderella to reveal to Paul that she is also a princess. Beautiful. Thank you. Hey. Now, <coughs> you've always known me as Cinderella, the simple girl. All that was to, to test you to see if you really love me or not. My name's... Princess Sheila Cinderella Mbanunje, a princess from the Buganda Kingdom. What do you think? <laughs> I still love you, like I said it. I'm sorry about the lies I've told you. I think, like this morning, yesterday, the day before that, you see me. I can't stop loving you. <laughs> love is not about vanity and these things. Love is about caring. That's love. I don't care about anything else. Paul has accepted that Cinderella is a princess. But as she is not allowed to marry just anyone, their future together will not be easy. You've always told me you see me as your future wife, but I have to invite you back home because my power, my power has a limit when it comes to marriage. Somebody has to see you, and then they see if they can accept you. This challenge is the most important challenge in my life. So what if they say no? I'll make them say yes. I fell in love with Cinderella, the person who she are, not what she have or what she could be. That's, that don't matter to me. I'm very pleased. I say as much as I love you, I would not let you turn your back on your tradition or your tribe for me. See these shoes? I'm supposed to walk like this. <laughs> slowly, slowly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what what said Paul? He was really shocked. <laughs> he said, I did not love you for, for the real estate. But I told That's you! Good. I oh. loved you. Who you are, and you will always be a princess in my heart. Oh. <laughs> what I told you.
told you before. Huh? I told you that. But when I said, when I mentioned that the decision of marrying him is not mine, yeah. mm -hmm. it is actually back home. See? He said, it is God who made us meet, so let's leave it for God. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. Exactly, try it out. I don't think I can ever find a man who is better than Paul, truly. A man who will love me thinking I'm just a mere poor girl. So if my family tells me to leave Paul, then they should now never get married. Because I can never find a man who I'll accept that truly loves me, genuinely. So it's either Paul or it's nobody else. Today, the princesses are leaving the UK and returning home to their kingdoms for the last part of their adventure. Back home in India, it is always I have been helped by my servants and by my cousins. The first time I had to do everything on my own. Finally, my back is going to burst. Living undercover, Princess Ksenia has met Elliot and made some real friends. It's sad that I, I will miss the girls and so it's not a good feeling to go and this is the first time in my life that I have real friendships for the people that like me for who I really am. Princess Alia hasn't found love but her time in Essex has been life-changing. I think one thing which uh, helped me uh, while I was here is that I got I regained my confidence which had somehow taken a back seat. So that is one thing which I'm very happy about. Having fallen in love, Princess Shayla must now return home and leave Paul behind. It's not easy to take. But I will, I'll manage. I don't want to think about it. That I have to leave Paul. And then you come for the wedding. Yeah, I come for the wedding. Oh. <laughs> Ladies, I love you. I will never forget this time with you. I love you. We love you. <laughs> we are not just friends. We are like sisters now. So it's not not easy to leave a sister. It's not easy to leave a friend. All the best to you and Paul. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Every moment was special for me. I'll miss everything, everyone. But I think we'll be very good friends. And I hope it is friendship to life. Princess Shayla is the last to leave. And Paul has come to say goodbye. Ah, oh boy. It's the hardest thing I could ever do right now is say goodbye. Take care. Love you too. Safe trip. Take care. say about him. I'm just worried in what if they don't accept him. What will I do and, and more what will he do? It's a tribe and they have certain rules about certain things and it's it's a hard time ahead. I don't want to lose him and I don't want to lose my family as well. I need my family and I need Paul. So I'm in between, I'm confused. Next time in the final chapter of The Undercover Princesses. Elliot, Paul and Emma 
receive a royal welcome to the princess's kingdoms. Hello. How are you? Will Princess Cassania and Elliot find love in Germany? In the first time, Elliot was uh, just a good friend. Oh. And now, it's more than just a friend, clearly. How will Essex girl Emma like cope sister. as an Indian princess? Will look like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> and will Princess Shayla and Paul's relationship withstand the pressures of royal life? This is Prince Malcolm, who's my elder brother. Even when Paul is introduced to the kingdom's prime minister. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine. It was an ambush. A real, <laughs> real big ambush. I already planned to ask Shirley to marry me. We're just waiting for the right time. My name is Xenia Gabriela Florence Sophie Iris. Princess of Saxonia. I am Princess Vanoji, Shayla, Cinderella, and Sali. I'm Princess Alia, Sultana Babi of Palasinor. And I am single. Three single princesses looking for true love. I am honest. I'm very easygoing. I am faithful. Fat loving. I love the world. I love the world. Someone who shares their interests. A lot of people say she's, she's ugly, but she's my best friend. My favorite films are Slumdog Millionaire, The Devil Wears Prada, Gone with the Wind, etc. I love children, they're my best friends. And we're best friends, no? We're best friends. Somebody British. I like Hugh Grant. Prince Harry and William. Hugh Grant. Sean Connery. I want to match Robbie Williams. Prince Philip. And so they left their kingdoms behind and came to England to find true love. After living and working undercover in Essex for three weeks, each princess chose someone to invite back to their kingdom. What? Will you come with me to Germany and see my world? Yeah. Alia only found friendship. I didn't find my Mr. Right here in England, but I made some wonderful friends here. But others wow. found true love. I'm falling in love with you. OK. Now back to royal life, the princesses can show their chosen ones how they really live. You can't put something like that. What? Jesus. Yeah. Will their guests be able to handle life with a princess? I'm out of my comfort zone in this place. That's my father. What happens when they meet the royal family and a prime minister? You go to a priest? <laughs> And against all odds, can love conquer all? In the first time, Elliot was uh, just a good friend. Oh. Uh. And now, it's more than just a friend, clearly. I feel like I could stay right here forever. I already planned to ask Shirley to marry me. We're just waiting for the right time. This is the final chapter of The Undercover Princesses. Princess Shayla has returned home to Uganda from her undercover love quest and resumed her role representing the Royal House of Uganda and their five and a half million subjects. But she's missing life in Essex. When I was in the UK, I was a free bird. I could dress the way I want, do whatever I want and be free. Ready. Using the undercover name Cinderella, she took the opportunity to look for her dream man in places unthinkable for a princess. Chris! At a chance encounter in a supermarket, she met Paul, a chef and ex-pro basketball player from Tobago. You are the first person I introduced myself to so far. Really? I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Over two weeks, the unbelievable <laughs> happened. <laughs> <laughs> they fell in love. He's opened my heart because I had closed my heart for some time, for so long. And as part of her mission to see if Paul really loved her, she revealed her true identity. My name's Princess Shayla Cinderella Mvanunje, a princess from the Uganda Kingdom. I think like this morning, yesterday, the day before that, the same way. I can't stop loving you. <laughs> now their love faces its biggest challenge. Take care. Paul will soon be joining Princess Shayla in her kingdom in Uganda, where he must prove to the royal family he is worthy of marrying a princess. Despite the challenge that awaits him in Uganda, there's no putting off Paul, as he's found true love with a woman he knows as Cinderella. Me and Cinderella have been communicating to each other from the day she left, every day. She, it's the first thing I talk, it's, she's the first one I speak to on mornings and the last I speak to at night. Always call her and text her and tell her good night, have a nice sleep. There's nothing could push away true love. What God put together, no man could Good path. Eight hours, that's too long. Can't wait to see her. Wow. But I gotta wait. A descendant of the last king of Saxony, Princess Cassania has returned from Essex to her celebrity life in Germany. I have lots of good times in England in the uh, last three weeks and a lot of fun. Princess Cassania went oh. undercover using the name Gabby nice and had no problem <laughs> attracting men. Woo. How you doing? Good. And no shortage of dates. Yay! <laughs> nice to meet you. But it was Elliot, a hairstylist <laughs> in the salon where she worked, who won her heart. <laughs> We're like soul bodies. I don't know. It's. I really love them. <laughs> okay. Nice to see you. My first name is not Gabby. No. <laughs> okay. My name is Princess Xenia Gabriella Florence Sophie. Is Princess of Saxony and Duchess to Saxony. What? I'm a princess. Wow. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> Having spent only three weeks together, Princess Ksenia is hoping their time together in Germany will reveal whether it's true love. I don't know if he wants more than friendship, and I don't know what he's feeling exactly, but you never know in which moment, in which place, and what time comes the love. So maybe it will be love in Germany, romantic, romantic. I have no idea. As Elliot flies out to meet Princess Ksenia tomorrow, his boss Norman has organised some going away drinks. And the talk is all about one thing. Do you think there's potential love there? I don't know. I'd, I think we'll just continue how we were before we... How uh, was that? Really, really ultra cool. That's <laughs> cool. Well, what does that mean, ultra cool? Is that romantic, sexual or...? It's a bit of both. <laughs> my friends think of my romance with the Princess Xenia of Germany as completely absurd. Something different, isn't it? Oh, who are you going out with? Oh, I'm going out with that chick that I met in the club. Oh, who are you going out with? Well, the princess. Yeah. So, are you in love? Oh, man, that's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah. Are you in lust? <laughs> lust is a different thing, so I could say yes to that. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Three words of advice. Enjoy. Be happy. Yeah? All right. And come back. Elliot. Elliot, Elliot, Elliot. Elliot. Yay. Princess Alia has returned to her kingdom of Balasinor in Western India, where her family have ruled for centuries. It feels great to be home. As soon as I came, I was so pampered and spoiled. It was great to be a princess again. <laughs> Oh, 
Of all the princesses, Alia struggled the most with dating in the UK. It's not in my nature to approach guys. I can't do it. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be so difficult. <laughs> But gradually, she started to make the most of life undercover in Essex. She made some good friends, and she even started dating. The weather hasn't been up too much, has it? The weather hasn't been up too much, has it? Have you gone out on blind dates before? Never in my life. I think I don't miss the dating aspect at all, because I was not comfortable with it. I think I can leave that way behind me. <laughs> Alia didn't find love in the UK, but she did find a good friend, Essex girl Emma. I've got a surprise for you. I want you to come to India and experience my culture. Come and be a princess. I'm a bit in shock now. <laughs> <laughs> She's just asked me to go to India and uh, spend a few days in the palace. <laughs> yes, it's shocked. Today, Emma is flying out to meet Princess Alia. It's the first time she's ever been to India. Definitely pack that. <laughs> no, I really do pack it, because I don't think they have any there. So you need more than that, knowing you. No. <laughs> the Essex bar owner is leaving behind her two daughters and fiancé, John. I think it's, it's a good opportunity for her to go out and obviously uh, you know, find out how a princess lives. Um, the only worrying thing is that when she comes back, she'll probably want to have the same standards. So um, we might struggle a bit with that. As well as seeing how a princess lives, Emma will find out how the Indian dating scene differs from the UK. Even though Alia tried the experience of coming to a different country and looking, I think in her mind she knows that sort of her destiny is to marry somebody of the same religion and the same caste and you know somebody that her parents would um, approve of or even choose for her. As Emma sets off for India, leaving behind her loved ones, <laughs> Elliot's mum is helping him prepare for his visit to Germany. I can't believe that he has met a royal princess. It terrifies me. Why are you scared for me, Mum? Because you're going into her world. Are you going to text me every day? No. <laughs> right, are you going to miss me? Yes. Oh, that's nice. I'm not really going that far away. It's only, I know. only like two hours or something. Mm. Have you packed your underwear? Elliot is now on his way to Germany, where he hopes his relationship with Princess Ksenia will go to the next level. Who knows if it's going to be more than friends? It would be super duper cool if we were more than friends. After two weeks apart and a nine hour flight, Paul has arrived in Uganda and can't wait to see Princess Shayla. My flight was pretty long, just within the sea Cinderella. So happy. There's just a, a warm feeling right now. But there is no sign of Princess Shayla at the airport. Hi. Only her Hi. staff to greet him. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I had um, like nine hours of flight, dying to see her, and still reach here and still can't see her. You could just imagine the anxiety in me. <laughs> when Paul arrives at his hotel, there is still no sign of the princess. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Cinderella is the first face I wanted to see on the airport, but she didn't come, I didn't get to see her. I'm pretty disappointed, but I know when I see her, all of that will just disappear. A long way from Essex, Emma arrives at Princess Alia's palace in India and is greeted with a traditional welcoming ceremony. Hello. How are you? Hi. How are you? Good. <laughs> this is a traditional welcome. <laughs> While I was in England, I was able to experience British culture in all forms. So I want to reciprocate the same back. Welcome to Balasano. <laughs> it's her first visit to India. So I definitely want to make her experience Indian culture in all its forms. Hello. 
oh, I could get used to this. Imagine coming home after a long, hard shift in the bar and a little lady turns up in your bedroom and starts massaging you. Oh, it's lovely, she's very good. I'll go to sleep now. <laughs> oh, that is good. In Uganda, Paul has been waiting for three hours to see Princess Shayla. I think I'm getting a pretty cold feet because how much days I was waiting just to see that face. Couldn't get this. I'm here and still cannot see that face. I'm, I'm a bit cold feet. Finally, the princess makes an appearance. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> what do I have to do? Another <laughs> beat. Here. I can see, I can tell. Just have to hug me, hug me, hug me, hug me. I'm angry with you right now. You don't have to be. I know you're not. Hi. Hi. Did you miss me? I flew nine hours to wait. I'm sorry. Five hours. I'm sorry. That's a lot of missing. Their reunion hasn't started well. And when it comes to ordering lunch, Paul goes against the princess's strong dislike of drinking to make his point. What are you going to drink? A beer. Someone I know doesn't take beer. Are you supposed to tell me you've changed in just two weeks? No, just, just the waiting make me feel for a beer. The waiting? Mm. Do you mind if I leave? You drink your beer, then I come back. Sam? You want orange juice? Things are different, real different. There's only one thing that is not different. The way I feel about you okay. is still the same. OK. Well, today I thought different. I don't know what I can do. If I was Cinderella, I would have maybe throw you in the water. Maybe do something crazy, but I am not in the real now. Back in Essex, Paul knew Princess Shayla as Cinderella, wow. where she was free to do what she wanted and their relationship could be open. Now she is back in Uganda, it is not acceptable for the princess to be seen with someone romantically outside her royal lineage. So she has come up with a plan, and it involves Paul going undercover. Can you sit comfortably now? <laughs> Rest in your chair and listen. Here, you're a prince. You're not just Paul David. The way you talk, the way you dress, I know that's who you are, that's how you are. So just add it on your names anyway. Okay. Incredibly, Princess Shayla has just told Paul that he must pretend to be a prince. And so lovestruck, he is happy to go along with the plan. My acting to be a prince right now is not much a challenge for me. I think I'm already a prince. I'm a gentleman, and once you're a gentleman, you're a prince. In India, Princess Alia has some news for Emma over lunch. They have seen his photograph. They've spoken to the family, mm -hmm. and they kind of approve of him. Uh, okay. So they were waiting for me to get back from England. But I think sometime in November, my parents and myself will be meeting him and his family. Oh, excellent. Alia didn't find love in the UK. But since arriving home, her family may have found her a man for an arranged marriage. So have you seen the photograph? I have. <laughs> what do you think? He's handsome. Is he? <laughs> When you meet him, how long do you get Normally, to... I will not get to speak to him much no. because it's like very protected. My parents will be doing most of the speaking with the family. Then how long after that would you get married? Normally, it will take six months. Or... How scary. It can, it can happen in two months also. You could be married before me. I could be. <laughs> <laughs> I could be. You never That's know. That's amazing. But yes, it's just an alien thing, isn't it? You know, to just think about somebody else, anybody else, even your parents, choosing the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with and have children with. It's just the lack of choice, I think would probably fill you with fear. But um, I can't imagine my parents picking my husband. I'm not very good at being told what to do at the best of times. Have they got to try and choose me a fella? 
Paul has now adopted the title Prince Paul. But to convince family and friends that he is royalty, Princess Shayla decides he needs restyling. It would be very unusual. I just want to see how he looks when he's... Well, you would see me now. <laughs> you look good. Mm, thank you. It's strange, but Cinderella is happy, so I'm happy. Paul finds out that posing as a prince will be tougher than he thought. There's even a royal way to hold a shopping bag. Okay, thank you. No, 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 no. Please. <laughs> you can't hold something like that. But you're supposed to be a prince. You're supposed to hold it like that. I beg you. I'm reminding him how he has to behave because as a prince. I think I, I have to take another two hours in your room this night, training him. Oh, Jesus. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you better be for me. Elliot has arrived in Germany and he's on his way to have dinner with Princess Ksenia after not seeing her for two weeks. I'm a bit nervous, but who wouldn't be nervous? You know, I'm out, of, I'm out of my comfort zone in this place. You know, out of my country. Back in Essex, Elliot only knew Ksenia as Gabby, so this is the first time he will knowingly dine with a princess. <laughs> Good morning, Gabby. Big hey. H. Good, how are you? I'm good. You look good. Sit down, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, you look rockabilly. What? You're so rockabilly. Thank you. What are we going to do? So we will have fun here. Cool. We go so to party. A big, we go to a big, big party on Thursday. Where? Oh, in the best desk discotheque here. Oh. Ooh. Ich bin ein Mühniger Mü und ich bin groß. Yeah. Ich habe ein. <lacht> For Elliot and Princess Ksenia, things have picked up just where they left off. By the end of the night... I have you under my spell. <laughs> Elliot no longer sees Princess Ksenia's royal status as a barrier and is optimistic their relationship can go further. <laughs> see you. This evening went very well. I was very, very happy to see her. Uh, we're going to see each other tomorrow. We're going to have the day together. And I think, you know, we're just going to keep, keep the uh, things, you know, the cogs churning, turning. I'm tired. <laughs> Princess Shayla has spent the whole day getting Paul into character as a prince. Tomorrow he will accompany her on royal duties and meet the Buganda Prime Minister. The only way I could really have Paul the way he is with me here is only by calling him a prince. I could not have any way of coming close to him, but once it's revealed, trust me, I'll have nowhere to rest my head. It, it may cost me who I am in this kingdom, it will really cost me that. With more than just their relationship on the line, Paul's act as a prince needs to be a convincing one. In the royal palace of Balasinor, Princess Alia is giving Emma a tour of the family history. You can call my grandfather, you know, an actual king of this place because he had the supreme power. He ruled. He king. really ruled. He could sentence anyone to death. He could pardon oh. anyone. Yeah. Goodness me. Yeah, he was. But he was a very, he was a very much uh, liked king. Having spent time in Essex, Princess Alia wants to show Emma around her kingdom. What do you think of my town? Um, so it looks like it's all uh, falling down. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot more men on the streets, aren't there? 
Yes. A lot more men working. Well, yeah. we're not actually working, we're sort of standing around. But even in the shops, it's mainly the men who Is are it? running the shops. And the ladies are at home with their families. Yes. It's clear why Alia struggled to approach men in the UK. As in India, she isn't even allowed to leave the car. The thing is that I'm not allowed to walk in the town. Because, because these people are, are they commoners? Will, uh, they're, uh, well, <laughs> not because they're commoners. It's like, yes, because I uh, come from an aristocratic family. It is, they don't expect me to walk. Oh. Oh. What, how was the... Of the town. Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I found it quite strange that Alia couldn't actually get out of the car when we got to the town and that it wouldn't be a right thing for her to do, to be seen walking. I um, don't know what the, how she normally gets into town. Maybe they stick on an elephant or something, I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's just that seems like a, the lack of freedom would be really frustrating. Would you like to have something to drink? Yeah, have a nice drink or something. In Uganda, it's Paul's first outing as a prince as he accompanies Princess Shayla on a day of royal duties. Hello. Hello, how are you? How are you? Their first <laughs> visit is to the royal tombs of Buganda. <laughs> Paul had real difficulty inside there, <laughs> folding his legs, then, then, uh, <laughs> then kneeling, then standing up. No, you just the place is too, too cultural. You have to reserve every bit of culture and tradition in there. Oh, oh, don't, don't turn your back. Don't turn your back. But I think Paul's having a nice time. He's really learning a lot. <laughs> Yes, you can. Paul has just about passed as a prince this time, but later he will be tested further when he joins the princess at a meeting with the prime minister. I don't think I have the strength to live up to it, but you know what, I would try. I mean, she's too fantastic just to turn away on. I mean, I would try. In Munich, Princess Ksenia has planned a sightseeing trip for Elliot. One, two, three, go. Go! <laughs> we go a little bit for sightseeing and with the feet or with the bus, it's too boring. And so we have this crazy cool. It's not easy, but it's funny. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Mom, 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 my lovely little loves. Take it out. I'll make my music video with it. So what do you think about Germany now at the moment? Germany's cool. It's I want funny, to be eh? here forever. I want to live in England and you want to live in Germany, so we changed. Yeah, we'll swap for the day. Oh, no, 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 for a year. We'll for a year, yeah, we'll swap. Oh, cool. You're the princess of Germany I need, and I need I'm Elliot wig. the hairdresser. Oh my goodness, and I'm every time with Norman. Oh no, not Norman. I think I get fired then. Yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> That's so ah. funny. I'm gonna win. Oh, oh yeah. That's so funny. That's one of the funniest things I ever did in my life, I promise you. Hey, yo! <laughs> Princess Shayla's elaborate plan for Paul to pretend he is a prince so that her kingdom will accept him is about to be truly put to the test. The Prime Minister of Buganda has requested a meeting with Princess Shayla, having heard word of Prince Paul of Tobago's visit. The Princess knows Paul's act has to be convincing if their love is to survive. If he found out that he is not a real blood prince, I really, I really face it rough. 
it will go everywhere. It will be even put in the newspapers. So I just beg it doesn't ever at all be open at all. Otherwise, I'll be oh, almost slaughtered. To add to the pressure, the royal couple are already running three hours late. I'm a bit nervous because it's not good to keep a prime minister waiting. I mean, it's already intense, but I think I'll get through it. I don't take on things, so I'll get through it. I'm really feeling nervous. Real nervous. I've never made the Prime Minister wait, and above all, he's not supposed to wait. To make matters worse, a pack of journalists are waiting, ready to broadcast news of Prince Paul's arrival. Princess Shayla now needs Paul to keep up his act in front of the Prime Minister of Buganda. How are you? Fine. Prince David? Yeah, from Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago. Ah, Tobago. Yeah. Oh, yes, in <laughs> Banoji. You are back in one ship and yeah. uh, you got a priest? A <laughs> <laughs> priest came to visit you. You're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so, are you posing any question? <laughs> Unexpectedly, the Prime Minister has thrown the meeting open to the press. Yes, um, I was asking the Prince from Tobago that, uh, how is the setup of the kingdom? How is it? Okay, our kingdom is, it's, it's different. It's different. Different in a sense like, okay. we have a Prime Minister, a, a President, and these things. And then a, a, a assistant pr pr prime minister, right? We don't have like kings and, 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 and these things. We have like prime minister and these things, but it's different. Each culture have, have their own religion, have their own person carrying along like the, to hold the culture going. Our kingdom is like that. Paul seems to be just about getting away with it but now he needs to explain how they met. What was it exactly where you met with Princess Vanunji from? Was it an expo? Was it a tourist expo? Okay, it, it, it was like, it was like an expo. An expo and just be in the right place at the right time. <laughs> Paul wisely leaves out the fact that the right place was an Asda supermarket in Basildon. So it is my pleasure to hand over this to you. <laughs> it looks like Paul has fooled them all. And now he receives an official welcome to the kingdom. It was an ambush. A real, real big ambush. <sighs> but I think, I think we pull it through. You know, my heart was like, buh, 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 buh. First of all, I did not expect such questions. I thought it was just going to be something simple, you know, and then that's it. But it was, it was hard. In my heart, I was like, no, how is Paul going to answer that? That was pretty hot and uncomfortable, but I was nervous. So I was pretty relaxed mm -hmm. and just waiting to expect anything. It's amazing. I like it. In Germany, Princess Ksenia and Elliot's day of sightseeing has led them to sampling the local delicacies. <laughs> With just two days left to see if their relationship can turn into romance... Look at this! <laughs> Elliot seems to be making a good impression. In the first time, Elliot was uh, just a good friend. And now, every new crazy things that we do and we have fun, it's, it's another story, and now... It's more than just a friend, clearly. Oh. And I don't want to say that it's love, because it's too, too early for say something like that. The only thing that I would like to be doing right now eating. is eating this sausage and drinking this beer. It's so refreshing and uh, spicy. I'm actually getting a little bit turned on by it. I do feel that we've picked up from where we left off, sort of thing. Good. <laughs> Gabby said to me that she feels um, completely sort of relaxed now. Like, yeah, she just feels like she like uh, doesn't care about her sort of status as as much when I'm with her, which is nice. There is nothing in life that I would rather be doing right now than eating curryburst with you.
It's been a big day for Paul and Princess Shayla. Posing as a prince, Paul has accompanied the princess on royal duties and met the Prime Minister of Uganda, which has since been broadcast on the news. Oh, yes. You are back in one shape and yes. one piece? Yes, I am. You enjoyed yourself while you were there? Yes. And you got a piece? <laughs> I got to fit <laughs> Having passed that test, now Paul faces the ultimate test by attending a royal dinner and meeting Princess Shayla's family. She told me I would reach some of her family. She would introduce me to them, but not as her boyfriend, but just as a good, good friend. I mean, it's something I'm anxious to do. I'm not afraid, I'm not, I, I, I'm just waiting to see them and let, let them know me and see me. I mean, know, know most about me, not everything. And see me and, and, and then maybe we take it from there. But yet again, the princess is running late. It's two and a half hours late now. It's like a routine now. Every time I have to go out, I have to be waiting. Hours, two hours. Yes, we're a princess, but it's bad manners. With the royal family waiting, Princess Shayla is almost three hours late. But she's come up with an elaborate excuse. I'm not late, but I was delayed by the car because of that, too much stress and then anxiety because I felt like I wanted to see Paul and I knew he was waiting. I almost got nausea. I felt so bad. But anyway, everything happens maybe for a reason. Now that we're here, we're all in one piece, just heading to the dinner. Paul isn't impressed with Shayla's excuses, but they are so late, there is only time for a quick lesson in royal etiquette. When you reach down there, of course everyone else will, will stand for you. But my mom doesn't stand. And as part of respect to my mom, you just hold yourself, right? If you offer my mom a hand, and after some time it's realized that you and me have something which has been going on, and at that moment you even offered her a hand, it, it will be bad. Having impressed the Prime Minister, Paul must now go through his princely act again, as he is finally introduced to the Buganda royal family. This is Prince Malcolm. He's my elder brother. This is Prince Paul David. Nice to meet you. This is Princess Sandra. She's my sister. <laughs> She's my mum. Hi, Mom. Nice to meet you. And he's the leader of the royal lineage. Yeah, you, sir. Same here, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this chicken, the one, but that's the local way of, of making of making the chicken stew, the local way. That's how they make it. As always, Paul seems to be taking things in his stride. Uh, I'm just having fun here. Um, I'm calm. I'm just having a wonderful time with, amongst friends and who knows, family. But worried about being outed as lovers, Princess Shayla decides they must leave after just 40 minutes. We want to avoid more questions that may come up any time. And you should say bye-bye. Just come on tonight to the Good night. All right. Uh, Paul exactly behaved the way I told him to towards my mother. That's exactly how he should be. Even if it was another visitor, still, that's how he has to behave. It's just the start, and the first thing, you mustn't push too far, else you might crash. I mean, I, I want to take it piece by piece. I don't want to rush and then fall. It's the last day of Elliot's stay, so time is running out for him to make his move on Princess Ksenia. 
Today, she's taken him to an animal sanctuary that her royal family has supported. And one part of my life is helping animals, so I like that he see what I do when I'm in, this gen in the animal sanctuary. Hey! Hello. It's good to see you this morning. Hi. Hey. You're fine. I'm fine. Shall I have a look? Come on. <laughs> I just want to go and touch the animals. Yeah. He's smiling. <gasps> He's happy. <laughs> Back in the UK, Elliot and Princess Ksenia discovered they both had a love of monkeys. I am I'm like monkey man. They chill out when they're with me. OK, you want to be a monkey and I want to have a monkey. What? Right, Think well, about that. Yeah. Hey! Hi! Chico! I love his tail. <laughs> But there is another reason Princess Ksenia has brought Elliot to the sanctuary. Before she came to the UK, the princess spent much of her time doting over her sick chihuahua, Casita. We were best friends. It's an old lady. It's a very old lady. But it's my love. It's my love. But since returning to Germany, Casita has sadly passed away. Now, Ksenia hopes Elliot will help her choose a new pet. I was very sad that my cutie dog dies. And you never know what, what time the destiny comes and brings you a new little life in your hand. And so maybe I find a new, new baby, a new dog, a new whatever, monkey, cat, mouse, you never know. I find it very attractive that she that she likes animals, but I'm just being cautious because I'm I don't want to look too forward. But I am very attracted towards her. No way! Oh my goodness! She's so cute. <gasps> oh my goodness! Hello. Oh, fluff, fluff, fluff. It's a ball of fluff. It's a fluffy ball. Mm. <laughs> I feel love. Ooh. I think at the moment I love the dog. But I know Elliot, so Elliot is the number one still. And when we adopt together this little puppy, then we are a little family. Ducky duck, I love this little duck. Elliot is getting ever closer to Princess Ksenia. But with just one day left in Germany, he will have to make his move soon. Tonight, Emma will be dining for the first time with Princess Alia's family. To ensure that Emma looks the part, Princess Alia has taken her shopping for some traditional Indian dress. I can't imagine the uh, Indian style actually suiting me, but, you know, we'll give it a go. I'm here, so, you know, I'll just try it, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Do your worst. <laughs> Do the best. Which is your favourite colour? Pink or something a bit more sparkly. This is quite sparkly. But this is good, because this is pink and sparkly. During Alia's stay in the UK, all of the princesses went shopping for Essex girl clothes. Although shy, even Alia joined in and bought something for their big night out. Oh, that's sexy. Whoa. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. Now it's Emma's turn to try out Princess Alia's dress code. Let's see you. Get ready for this. You look like my elder sister now. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you wear all this so that men don't look at you? <laughs> cover yourself up <laughs> and make yourself look unflattering. No, To no, hide no. yourself. No, no, no. no, I just feel a bit like I'm wearing a sack. Feels like pyjamas with sequins. <laughs> it's just a bit baggy and a bit different. <laughs> I look like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> I can't say as I think I'll be wearing it again. Princess Ksenia is taking Elliot to Nymphenburg Palace in Munich as she wants to show him how royalty used to live in Germany. This is one of the castles mixed between the families of Bavaria and my family. Then they live here. This is impressionant. What kind of room is this? This is a room where they make dances. Okay. 
So this is interesting because that is the king of uh, Bavaria. Yeah. And he married with this girl and she was uh, one member of my family. And so, is that cool? She looks yeah. like me, what do you think? Same face like me? Uh, not, as, not as nice. Hers is better or mine is better? I said yours is better. She's too old for me. Yeah? Yeah, like 300 years or so. That is proper indulgent, having that house or whatever the hell it is. I mean, why, why would you want to live there? It hasn't changed my opinion of her, because uh, that's nothing to do with her. Like back there, that's all like ancestors, isn't it, you know? It was very cool, but I think now he has a little bit more view about what's behind the story about my family and what's the history, and so it was very cool, yeah. But I'm looking forward for the party tonight. Princess Shayla and Paul are heading out of her kingdom to a romantic resort on the banks of the River Nile. It's their last chance to decide whether they have a future together before Paul goes home. It was a long ride, she was in my arms. Cinderella is like, she's getting comfortable now with me around. It was just enjoyable. Here? You could sit. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could stay right here forever, sitting beside you. Yeah. Then let's sit here forever. Okay. Nobody can ever find me. Okay. <laughs> Are you singing in your head? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love you. Okay. About who? Wow. Finally alone together, Princess Shayla now has the freedom to behave as she did on a blissful trip to South End where no one knew who she was. I won't let you go. Hmm? I could spend the rest of my life right there. And where she told Paul she loved him for the first time. Paul and Princess Shayla talked about marriage when she was living undercover as Cinderella in Essex. Now that Paul has spent time with her as a princess, nothing has changed, and he still believes she's the one. I already planned to ask Shayla to marry me. I mean, not now. I, that's, that's a plan on me back, like, at my country, and I think Shayla know I'm ready to marry her. She know it, just we are... We, we're just waiting for the right time, the right time, the right moment. Together forever, baby. Forever together. That's right. Body and Clyde. Flesh and blood. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> This evening, Emma is dining with Princess Alia's parents, the Nawab and Begum of Balasinor. She is being helped by Alia's maid to dress in the traditional outfit she bought earlier. OK, they're waiting for you. OK, let's go. Mama, Daddy, Hello. this is Emma. Hello. That's my Hello. mother and my father. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice to see nice you. To Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. And wearing uh, identical clothes. Oh, so, 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 so. Same <laughs> colour. That's my father. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's my brother. Hello. Hello. You like the outfit? Definitely. Uh, yes, yeah, she's very nice. I met her in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I didn't meet a guy in the bar. Oh, no. I, I, I met a very good friend in the bar, I, I can say that. So were you glad that Alia met me rather than an English man? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Your dad definitely is, I can tell. <laughs> As Emma is getting married next year, she is keen to find out more about Alia's arranged marriage. Myself and my fiancé are getting married in London. Okay. So, um, 
I think Ali is very interested in that because obviously I, I chose um, him for myself <laughs> and we're getting married. So, um, totally congratulations in Thank advance. <laughs> yeah, totally different from uh, what Ali is going to experience <laughs> when she finally meets her man <laughs> or you choose him. Yes, yes, we have to choose. We do him. choose, yes. but we always. But, uh, we ask her the... opinion, you know, because yeah. they have to lead a life. Thank you. Yeah, you have to check. Check, yes. check he's okay. I think Marley is quite happy for her parents to, you know, guide her in the right direction as far as that's concerned. And as long as she's happy with the situation, then, you know, there's, there's really no problem. But I'm certainly glad that my dad has not chosen for me. <laughs> Elliot is getting ready to party with Princess Ksenia at one of Munich's swankiest clubs. It's his last night in Germany, and so his last chance to make his move on the princess. If I got top of Gary's the end of the night, that would that be an idea of evening one? It'd be a bit of a bonus if it did happen, no doubt about that. I mean, I've got, I got sort of two, two things going on in my head, like, you know, one of me thinking, oh, once in a lifetime chance, hanging out with the... Uh, with the princess sort of thing, like, go for it. And the rest of me thinking, like, have a point of cool, you know, just chill and uh, go with the flow, because I'd rather uh, think that I'm a cool guy than a knobhead. Nervous of how the night will go, Elliot gives his mum a call. Hi, Mum. Hi, Mum. How are you? How are you? I miss you. Are you getting on all right with her? No, she's horrible. No, she can't have you. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm yours. I'm getting ready because we're going to something like the biggest celebrity club in Munich or something. Yes, Apparently, uh, I, they only let celebrities in. Oh. So I've got to wear my sunglasses. So you're going to look a bit of a tosser, aren't you? Yeah, but I want to look like a tosser. I want to fit in. That's not that good. Elliot was hoping to spend the last night alone with Princess Ksenia. Hey. Hey. Mm. That's Julia, Julia, Elliot, Elliot, Julia. But she's brought along a friend. Nice to meet you too. With time running out, Elliot plucks up the courage to make his feelings known to Princess Ksenia. With the chocolate, I thought, you know, it's just to show her that I am romantically pursuing. I've just made up that word. It's because of my mix of German now. So, uh, you know, hopefully that's, that might have sparked on. Who knows? Elliot might be in pursuit, but sadly, his romantic gesture seems to have been wasted on the princess. The relationship between Elliot and me is still friendship. I'm a little bit afraid to, to break that with, 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 with trying another, another, another story. Well, maybe it's, it's, it's my fault that I have not the love feelings in me. I don't know. It's a long time ago that I have a boyfriend, so... Oh! It's Elliot, Emma and Paul's last night in each of their princesses' kingdoms. Despite Elliot's hopes of a relationship with Princess Ksenia, it seems for now it will be just as friends. Emma has enjoyed learning about Princess Alia's Indian culture, but the big success story is between Paul and Princess Shayla, who, after just three weeks together, are more in love than ever. Having failed to find romance with Princess Ksenia, Elliot is heading home to Essex. You're fine. Mm. Good night. I'm upset. Well, wait, I won't give you a present. Not only. Totally. But you must take care of a present, OK? Yeah? Yeah, I love the present. What is it? It's, it's, I'm excited. I'm love I'm shut my eyes. It will, it will uh, protect you when I'm not with you. Oh, no way! That's so cute! <laughs> That's my favourite monkey. 
Okay, oh. darling. <laughs> well, I'll speak to you very soon, OK? Maybe Gabby wasn't meant to meet her love, and we've got something much better anyway in our friendship. So that's uh, nice, and uh, this this is lovely. I'm so happy with it. Meeting Elliot is definitely important for me, and so I hope that uh, this emotional day is not the end, and uh, we have lots of more meetings and conversations and uh, that the friendship will be will be there still. Emma is also about to leave Princess Alia's palace in India. If I had to live like this, it would just drive me mad. As much as it's lovely, um, give me a six any day. <laughs> oh, they've been so helpful. <laughs> they've been wonderful. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Take care. And you. Have, have a safe journey. Emma may not be cut out for a royal lifestyle, but Alia wouldn't have it any other way. Going to UK as an undercover princess was definitely a very good experience, but I don't think I want to be undercover for my life. I think I want to be a princess for my life. <laughs> That's not something I don't want to trade for anything in the world. Back from a wonderful trip away, Paul and Princess Shayla are spending their last moments together before they say their farewells. I've really had a good time with you here. It was wonderful being with you. Only that we are not as free as we were in England. Princess Shayla has a final question for Paul. Can you stay one more week with me? You could not have asked me anything better. I'll be proud to stay another week. Well, you know, well. Yeah. I'm very excited that I'm still having some more time with Paul, at least for another week, to take him round, have some more quality time together without, you know, without any interruptions, and then not being worried that at, the, at such a time we have to rush. The best a man could have is Shirley. Wow, I mean, my plans for Shirley is to live an eternal life with her, loving her, respecting her, and treating her the best I could.